I know that we're not the the serious guys, and yeah, typically yeah. we don't get serious, but uh, but we are for a split second. And yeah, we're going to do the show, but uh, but there's something that's been on everybody's minds, and I know I know it has been. Yeah, and uh, and our country and everybody is hurting right now, and we've actually had some listeners that have reached out to us and said, like, you know, you know, are you guys going to say anything about yeah. what's happening within the world right now, within our nation, what's happening to you know black people, black men. Yeah. Are you guys going to address that? And normally, with like, uh, we've always tried to stay away from politics and things like uh, serious topics and stuff, just because we felt like yeah. our job was best suited just to try to make people laugh, to make people forget about uh, bad stuff. Oh, yeah. But but I, I know we our... also feel compelled to at least uh, address it and tell you guys well, that we. We're we're horribly saddened by what happened, and we're with you. Yeah, and I I look at it like this: it, it's for two guys that talk for a living. You would think that we'd know what to say, but when our perspective is so small, the best thing yeah. that we can do right now, and I know we've talked about this all week. Like, what are we going to say? What can we say? This is what we're doing. We're listening. Yeah. You know, Black Lives Matter. We're listening to you. We see you. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, we've got listeners and friends. We are so lucky to be in a position where we have, uh, you know, where we're, in our broadcasting career, where you and I came from, we came from a place where there weren't a lot of ladies and there weren't a lot of people of color that listened to the, the show. And yeah. now we're in a position where we have people of color that listen to our show, black people, brown people, you know, uh, everybody, women, like, everybody. When we set this table, and I got yeah. this from your wife. And I'm, I, and, I'm proud of our listener group yeah. because it's so diverse and uh, it's everybody that listens to our show. And 100%. I like that. And th- What's what we've yeah. always wanted, and but what we're seeing right now, it this is not good, and we can't no. sit here and act act as if we 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 can do better. Everybody yeah. can do better. Yeah, yeah, our listeners can do better. So here's I stole this from your wife, and I have to say it. You know, every Thanksgiving, and it, it it gets me emotional. Every Thanksgiving, she puts out a post, Crystal Van. She says, "If you don't have a place to go for Thanksgiving, I open my table to you." And she does that because she's just a fucking great person. Yeah. But even beyond that, like the scope of this show, when we set this table every Friday. And we come here, you and I, and we go, hey, we're going to do some jokes and we're going to have some fun. It's for everybody. Yeah, yeah. That's, we set our table for everybody. It's not just for white guys. It's not just for, it, it, it's not just for guys. It's for fucking everybody. Yeah, yeah. And that's why we all, always wanted it. And we, it will always be that way. Yeah. And, uh, but I am, and this, if someone wants my take on it, I am optimistic that there will be change and things will get better and this is probably uh another you know piece of that well, these things have to happen because sure. i you know sure. not to steal from dave Chappelle, but like one of his comedy specials when he's talking about emmett, emmett till, till yeah. and he was like man we like it's like the world's like we can do better than this and it's sad that that was so long ago and there's still you know it's 2020 and this is still happening but i i see the world saying we could do better than this yes. and uh yes. and so that makes I me see opt- young people saying that, that yes. makes me optimistic that there will be reform and change and obviously there needs to be and uh i don't listen it's z- super complicated so i can't tell you we're not those guys fix it yeah, yeah, yeah we're not those guys but i uh I at least feel hopeful that there will be change and the and the world wants it you yeah. know because i i see it's it time. and everybody it feels that way and it's like this can't happen we got to do better than yeah. this it's long overdue yeah, so yeah, yeah we're gotta gonna get, have some fun today you have to get bad people out of the justice system and stuff like that and yeah. uh, you know and hopefully this will start uh you know with that change and anyway it, it, yeah. it's hard for me and daniel to get serious because we've just never been those well guys, you know it's funny but, for me is when i do get serious i i have a ten- to get overly emotional and, and very sad. And this is a sad thing. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to have fun today. We are, I promise. But yeah. w- it was on our minds, and we just had to say something to you guys. So for all of you that listen, we can do better. And Black Lives Matter, you guys, a- everybody that listens, we're hearing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're educating ourselves. Yeah, yeah. A- and we're just, we're going to have to do better. Yeah, and I hope that... Uh you know, uh, me and Daniel's always just, uh, we want people to have good lives and, you know, and uh, we want the world to be a better place and everybody to, like, shit, it's, uh, bad things are happening now, but, yeah. uh, and that's why it goes back to, um, we try to just make people laugh and try to make people uh, forget about uh, uh, all this stuff uh, just for a couple hours a day. Yep. And that's always uh, been kind of our mission statement to do that. But, with all that being said, me and Daniel felt compelled to uh, 
to talk about it a little bit and 100%. just let everybody know that uh, we hear you and uh, we hope that uh, everybody's safe out there and uh, we hope that uh, you know we can get to a place where this shit doesn't happen again. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, this is your Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke-heavy, and just right. Thanks. It's show number 574, Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha, our producer's here. Hello, Sam. Hello. I love your Walk the Beer shirt. Thank you. I don't even know when we put that out. That was around, I want to say, OLE time. 2016 then, right? Seems about right. No. 16, 17. That was... The Samford Wayne Dinch Theater, we sold those at, right? Or no? Yeah. I don't know. Don't know. Yeah, yeah don't absolutely know. don't know. But hey, uh, Butler is here. Hey, Butler. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing uh, damn fine. Uh, Butler's got something new for us to sip on. We'll be uh, like doing mm. the toast, but... Uh, we're not doing uh, Canalisa Creek today. We are doing, uh, what are we doing today? We're doing uh, Shark mm, Bite. Shark Bite Cinnamon Whiskey. Yeah, we'll be doing that. But hey, welcome to, the, uh, welcome to the show, everybody. We're glad you're here. To those of you joining us live on Twitch right now, hi. Mm. And uh, we're glad to have you. Twitch.tv slash Tom and Dan Live is uh, where you find live video. If you want to watch the replays, just search the old YouTubes for Tom and Dan Live. Yep. Eric the Merchman did confirm it was an OLE uh, nah, shirt. Uh, yeah. Eric's been with us that long? Yeah, no, man. yeah, yeah. That's Who a, are you? We had our meeting. What do you do? <laughs> like, I like I don't. It's weird that I don't know any of this. Our first meeting with Eric was at your uh, the, the yes. studio number two at your house, and he impressed and, me with his branding. In fact, yeah. the reason he sealed the deal of working with us was uh, some of the old Butler razzle dazzle Photoshop. Mm. Eric had this really good like kind of a uh, a one sheet of what he does and who he is yeah. and he made it look all nice and uh, I just looked at it and I was like oh it looks nice he's, he's, he's the guy also wore a polo to the meeting so I'm like you got the goods yeah yeah oh <laughs> it's all God. things polo <laughs> and clip art he's it <laughs> <laughs> that's all thing yeah that's how easy it is but uh, um but yeah we got some uh, we got some merch of brewing right yeah right now if you go to tomanddan.com we have our father's day specials up right now it's a father's day combo pack yes we have a new uh, real shirt and a mug that's in the combo pack, but you could buy it separately as well. Yeah, if you want to like a la carte, or maybe you're not a combo pack type uh, type of guy, rather not type of tie. Uh, most mediocre dad, and with our ACT branding, but uh, you could check it all out. I know it's been selling pretty quick. We released it first to the BDMs. That's mm-hmm. part, another perk to becoming a BDM is yep. that we always uh, tell the BDMs first, like, hey, it's out, so they have the first crack at sure. it. Sure. If you're a BDM member, yeah. you you will typically find yeah. out, and if you watch on Twitch, a lot of the times we're just going about our day and we're like, hey, here's a new merch, and we'll just like tell you about it yeah, yeah. live on camera. So um, if yeah. you're a BDM or you watch live video, you're going to get the, the knowledge first. So if you're looking for a Father's Day uh, gift um, for that person that's into Tom and Dan, mm-hmm. uh, they uh, are for sale right now. They're limited, so I definitely uh, get them, you know, at least uh, this weekend or, you know, I don't know how long, you know, because, of course, we ordered too little. Well, I mean, I'll put it to you this way. We did order too little, but I'll put it to you like this. Eric is at the post office now. Mm -hmm. So... Shipping orders from last night. So, BDM... That's how he works. We'll get them probably tomorrow. Uh, we already like, sold out of the face yeah. masks. Oh, oh yeah, that was a mistake. I, uh, <laughs> well, I'll explain the face masks. Na- I am now changing Eric's name to Optimerch Pl- Prime. That's his name, <laughs> Optimerch Prime. So I like it. We uh, we 
Enemy Inc. was making these um, face masks, basically out of uh, t-shirt material, where yeah. they print uh, like our... It's like a pocket mask. It's super... Uh, carpet logo, yeah. And yeah. it slits for the ears, two sizes or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. My nose is too big for that thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I put it on, and it's like, yeah. ah, it's killing my stretch nose! it out a little yeah. bit. So, <laughs> Don't stretch it out. I like it tight. But with that, it was like, all right, we'll just put them on the, uh, on the site for a dollar, yeah. and then anybody who wants to like, add it on to their cart, and like, we'll give all the proceeds to charity. Sure. To Yellow Brick Road, whatever. And that's where I didn't. And, you know, I was like, well, at this time, everybody's got their own masks and stuff. But nowadays, you know, um, most likely someone's gone out and purchased one or whatever. And so I was like, ah, how popular could it be? I forgot that once I said, uh, you know, everything goes to charity, like uh, one guy bought 50. Yeah. And I think probably just to give the most amount of money to charity. And again. we love that. That's, yeah, yeah. What, that's what makes you but guys. They're the sold out. Throw those well, masks sold right out yeah. I mean, that's our fault, not your fault. You guys are the best fucking listeners. Yeah. We say cha- we just mentioned Tom just mentions charity, and you guys, well, it's fucking for the kids. Let's yeah. make this happen. Yeah. And uh, and we're like, uh, we should have uh, ordered a lot more. We're yeah, the orders already in for more. And these those- masks are great for kids, by the way, because yeah. they are like they're really light. Yeah. So if you're not you know transitioning well into that, it's a it's a good purchase. We do have some gators being made. Those are like the uh, kind of like uh, oh the shoes we're getting uh, the <laughs> no. shoes that Ric Flair used to. I don't know why they call it Gator. Like, for whatever reason, I'm, I uh, have the hardest time. I'm like, I don't even... It's a weird name for basically... It's a foreskin. Uh, it looks like a foreskin. Uh, for your face. Made out of... It's like a face shield. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, Foreskin for your be- face sounds better. Before yeah. the pandemic, uh, we were going to get these made Stinks in here. for fishermen and Sorry. people, like outdoors guys that yeah. wear you know masks to shield themselves from the sun. Well, um, you get the reflection from the yeah. water, obviously, and your neck gets red. So, anyway, we are... We're going to have some up uh, next week, so there's that. Yep. Uh, and uh, speaking of uh, Calalisa Creek, uh, right now... Calalisa Creek. Sugar Works Distillery in New Smyrna Beach, they have a Calalisa Creek combo pack. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe uh, you can get this for Father's Day as well, or anybody uh, that likes whiskey. Um, but you'll get the Calalisa Creek bottle with uh, some Tom and Dan branding on it, a free bottle of uh, hand sanitizer. Yeah, it's this because, one right here that I got, yeah. this teeny tiny uh, little one. This thing's and, awesome, man. And, like tiny little. Tss, tss, yeah. There we go. And uh, a Tom and Dan shot glass, and that comes in a combo pack. You can only buy it at the actual little tasting uh, site, tasting yeah. room uh, at Sugar Works Distillery in New Smyrna. Um, but all that is uh, thirty five ninety nine. So you'll get the uh, bottle of whiskey, the hand sanitizer, the the shot glass, and uh, that could be a gift as yeah. well. So. It's the sanitizer I use around here. Like when we have guests in stuff, mm-hmm. I use their sanitizer to clean up after people, to wipe down headphones, stuff like that. Uh, it's really great. And and, uh, and you're going local, which really helps. I know that's big to a lot of people right now. You want to mom and pop it. Well, you don't get more mom and pop than Sugar Works. So. Right off of 44. You yep. really can't miss mm. it. Um, 44. I'll be 44 in a fucking week. Oh, whoa. my God. Don't say that. That, that road is banned. Uh, no one mentioned that road. Oh, man. I look like 40 miles of bad road. <laughs> <laughs> my God. So, speaking of getting old. Yo, um, oh, I feel it. Oh, yesterday, uh, I went to the dentist, um, and it was because uh, a couple weeks ago, I bit down on one of my... Uh, I got this. I eat these uh, protein bars okay. that have rock salt on them, and uh, oh my god, it's like uh, those. It's those ones. I think it was like Metrex or whatever. It's like yeah. tiny ones that have all the ingredients on the front, like f- three egg whites, this, that. Oh, uh, I hate those. Two almonds or whatever. It is. <laughs> so no, oh god, no I like, BS bar. Yeah, I like. Yeah, uh, yeah, no I like. Uh, you know, my friend Rebecca went to school with a guy and then invented that mm. the no BS bar. No, really. Yeah, we could get him on the show if you want to talk to him. Uh, yeah, I want to yeah, get him I on the show and ask him why his then. bars taste like shit. <laughs> I like them. Why do your protein bars taste like fucking shit? They're too expensive, though. No, they're terrible. I'm not paying that much money for something that tastes that shit. I, I, and the one, I like it. And the one that Butler has they're where he holds it up gross. every morning and it just goes... It's like a and it like, it, limp turd. Yeah, it limp yeah. turds itself over. Those are like, delicious. How dare you? They yeah. look fucking terrible. It's a no cow bar. Anyway, yeah. I bit into Yuck. it and then I uh, my tooth, I was like, ow! Something hurt. And then I was like, what is that? Ow! So uh, I go to the fucking dentist and I don't even... like. I, I don't even know how I found this guy. Honestly, I like because I don't do any research. I don't care what, what you doctors. Just drive in circles until you saw the sign that said like DDS. Or I'm not sure. Like, I, I, went, I, I went to him a couple years ago, uh, and then but then you went to my dentist. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have, just go he had to, this like from just from just like being a stunt guy and everything. He had this little line in his tooth. He goes to my dentist. They just take this little machine. They're like, and like his teeth look perfect. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that? Yeah, I lived that line for so long. I was embarrassed by it. I was like, I got the line. It wasn't poor line <laughs> tooth. It wasn't even real. It was just like a little surface yeah. abrasion. And then like, I was mad. I'm like, why didn't anybody else do this? <laughs> my dentist is just like, like I get my z- teeth clean. <laughs> just his teeth look fucking perfect. <laughs> why they're clean? My teeth just do the thing the other guy did. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna clean every the, every part of your tooth except for the line that you're embarrassed of. So last God week, the week before when I, I went there, the guy uh, gave me x-rays or whatever. He's like, I don't know what's wrong with the tooth that you say hurts, but... No, ne- that's what you want your dentist to say. Right. <laughs> I have no, no idea. Like, it looks fine. He's, uh, by the way, he's Eastern Bloc with a heavy accent. It looks like tooth to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, like... You have a bad case of... How do you get uh, yourself in these? You have a bad case of tooth. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's, what does like, that even mean? Really he- heavy accent, uh... Uh, and uh, wasn't so, that like uh, the doctor that your wife went to when she was having her kids too? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's the same, you're into no, the it's Eastern the same guy. Yeah, it's, oh, it's the same oh. guy. Uh, I'm so glad that I was able to deliver baby out of your wife's bush mouth. <laughs> I am also up dentist and down dentist. Down dentist is uh, how you say getting to college, and up dentist is uh, tooth man. Yeah, down all gum. <laughs> this isn't the uh, cocaine dentist, is it? No, no, that was a that was an old radio. Have you ever gone movie. to a real right. dentist? Yeah, what well, the hell? The one that I get my teeth cleaned at, that I go to every four months. You do the old Greenberg. So you go to two different dentists. Yes, yeah. yeah. Why? I, I don't Cookie's know. Insane. I just show up to the place that my wife tells me to. <laughs> And but the one I get my teeth cleaned at, he's a he does braces and shit. Something other, he doesn't do like it's called orthodontist. Cat, orthodontist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good, good. So <laughs> he doesn't. So when I have any sort of pro, tooth problem, he has to like you have to go to another guy, and then I go to this that Eastern seems Block guy. Super inefficient. <laughs> yeah, of course. Just I, find another. Dentist. I don't. I'm too busy. Yeah, okay, okay, so uh, you go to. Uh, so I go to Eastern yeah. Block, man. Uh, now because so that he finds a cavity, and I'm all uh, I'm embarrassed to talk about it a little bit because Why? I'm like I uh, have a cavity. Yeah, yeah. I think I got. One now that People I gotta get go. Cavities. Yeah, you're getting older. Kids get cavities. No, no as, you everyone get, as you get older, you get more because you're dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's uh, sad too. But uh, anyway, your whole body's breaking down. Everything all on dying me slowly. Is, no. is irritated. You know, like my ass is irritated. <laughs> head of my dick is irritated. My teeth are irritated. My eyes are irritated. Nasal passages irritated. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like I'm trying. My body's trying to turn itself inside out. <laughs> And uh, so the guy last week tells me, like, all right, uh, in a heavy accent, uh, uh, you have to come back. Uh, you have to come back another day one, when. One, uh, one week later, whatever. Oh, uh, okay. One week? Yeah, yes. Why? That's, I, because uh, he didn't he, have. A... He, they're also operating under, like, uh, the COVID rules. So it's like they can right. see limited patients and all that stuff. Yeah, so yeah. it's like um, every. You have to sit apart in the waiting room or whatever. Anyway, God, they wouldn't even let full... me into the waiting room. I, I don't, oh, okay. They, they so, make you wait in your car. Well, yesterday I went to get this cavity filled, and I showed up, and apparently they had a lot of uh, emergency like cases or whatever, and it was all like super old people going back to when yeah. you're old, your teeth just start, they just start falling, falling out. out. Yeah, so your dude is fall out too. They just fall out. There's, I mean, to the point where there was an old man in a walker walking in, and then his <laughs> wife was like, uh, was "Like, all right, I'll come pick you up." <laughs> and I'm like, "Don't leave this guy alone." <laughs> and then I can't walk. When I saw him walking up, I. I started backing up into the bushes okay. to give him space. Like, you, like did, Homer like, you did the Homer? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then he's like, I'm like, uh, old man, you should not be out. Like, this is, uh, you know. I mean, like, know. he's the only reason. I'm like, you he, still have teeth? Yeah, the only, <laughs> exactly. Like, the only reason Why? he would be here is because it hurts, right? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. if it doesn't hurt, there's no reason for you to be there. Yeah, like, he was so old, he should have just had dentures at this point, right? Like, I mean, this guy was, like, uh, 80 plus, oh, yeah. you know, no problem. Yeah. Anyway, you're in the brown teeth phase. You're oh man, so think of, <laughs> no, hey, no, did just gum. Does your mouth as you get older? Like when you're an old man, like that old man, when yeah. he goes there and he opens his mouth, it's like a little old dog, right? It's gonna smell like shit because <laughs> mm. he's their teeth are uh, dead. There's a lot of dead in there. Uh, a lot of black. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's super like it's super Mel Gibson brown, smoke <laughs> yeah, yeah, yellow yeah, yeah. in there, and like everything. Coffee. Like when you floss, you smell the flaws. It smells like <laughs> fucking death's feet. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh God! So uh, you just pull them all. So I, I, I. They call me back, and then I go in there. And Mr. Then, Van, 
And the uh, Doctor Kremlin will see you now. <laughs> the, the the Eastern Bloc dentist is uh, shaken. Like I could tell, he's because there's a lot of people uh, there, and he came in. He's like, oh, he's rattled a little bit. Uh, uh, and, why, and for whatever reason, why are there so many odd people? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting. He, yeah. Uh, Eastern Bloc, uh, that area likes, uh, people from that area like to say my friend a lot. Hello, uh, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, and Samantha brought up a good point, and she, she said, uh, it's because their accent sounds harsh. Yes. And, or like they're abrasive. Abrasive. Yeah. So they, they follow it up with my friend. So you're like, oh, okay, not mad. Right, <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> like, like, my friend. Even now. <laughs> him delivering the phrase, I'm going to pull this tooth, sounds like a, like a villain, yeah. right? So I'm going to pull this tooth. So he, he came in. And he's like, my uh, friend. He's like, I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, he's like, I, I had a lot of uh, emergencies, my patients, and I, I don't work on Friday, so if I don't do it now, they're they're stuck. They'll t- die until Monday, right. you know. So he's like, I, I need to get it. So you know, it's, it's so crazy. Sorry, it take a long time to and, do all the man. And then of course I'm just like, no, no problem, whatever. <laughs> and then uh, so he uh, he gives me the Novocaine. And he's like, I'll just fix the tube real quick. Give me the juice. And he he pulls on your pants. So then <laughs> yeah. he comes back in. Let me suck it. <laughs> Dick, please. <laughs> and uh, oh, look, you have lost weight. You look, uh, you look very muscly. And Circumcised, nice. Uh, I like it. I do not like the chew in the bubble guy. Like uh, he's in a full hazmat suit too. <laughs> so, I, like I could tell, he's like, you know, I'm sure. Hey, uh, I'm going to suck your dick. <laughs> I just have to figure out the way to get dick and mask. You know, I I do feel for everybody now that has to like do these professions and full, you know, because oh, yeah. the, the whole day. What John the barber to, had yeah. on like riot gear while he was yeah. like fixing. My, he had the full face mask on, like yeah. a welder shield. You so, know what I mean? Yeah, it's so, insane. And but so people like people like I see people complain about stuff, and it's like l- these businesses are trying yeah. to We're do what they can. It, yeah, man. yeah, just We're give all them, doing cut them some goddamn slack a little bit. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I was like, listen, I don't care. It's fine. But he, he, so he comes back in and then like he shoots my uh, face a bit. Like he I shoot calm on your face. <laughs> Jumping he he must have shot me with Novocaine like in three different areas. Like my entire left side that. was. Just, the last time I went, the lady like no lie, like probably nine shots. I'm like, this is too much. I, this I is overkill. It. I hate. You know why uh, they, they don't want you? Because I think if you have any pain, then the, you'll never go back, and it's like bad for business. So but the, they, the fucking shots hurt more than than <laughs> anything. Does, yeah. Cut. Uh, just uh, here's a fun fact on the on Family Feud. You know, like yeah. when they go survey says the number one answer of like things that people are most scared of number one was dentist by yeah. the way mm. and it, i think it traditionally is like when you're talking phobias my fear of flying way up there but not as much as dentist mm. i'm not afraid of the dentist it's just it's a pain in the ass it like, is I'm and see, i love it like the sounds are worse to me i love it like that, ever since i was doing. a kid yeah. and people get on me about that like even my even my dentist says so that you're afraid of flying Mm. You're afraid of getting in a plane, but you enjoy the dentist pulling teeth. The, all of, like it doesn't matter. They can be scraping, grinding blood, crazy. Doesn't bother me at all. Or you also have very good dental hygiene. You have your first cavity at 38, 38. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. For you're the rest right. of society, we like we. No, uh, I drank Kool Aid out of a bottle for four years. We're like a uh, I pass out with a fucking uh, craft beer still floating, <laughs> in teeth. and then we're like, oh, I yeah. fucked my teeth up. I uh, the number. One I guess thing. I shouldn't have done that. I only got. One cent. <laughs> the number one thing that saved my teeth are those stupid sealants that you can get. Mm. They put those little, uh, they paint them in there, and then they use the light to cure them or yeah. whatever. And those, I still have one that I, I had put in when I was 11 years old. Well, it's probably bad for business, because uh, if if they did that to everybody, then they wouldn't have enough uh, uh, That's income coming. That's probably but, an accurate statement. But anyway, so, yeah. So the guy, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Like, uh, he came in, he's like, oh, yeah, you ready? And then he's like, and then he started... Doing the cavity with no by himself, like which I've never seen. Like I've usually, never seen, normally they have a t- uh, <laughs> someone to, like a somebody. hygienist or a tech. And then he says, "He's like, I'm gonna never, this is two man job, but I can do." It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which uh, for whatever reason, I have confidence in the Eastern Bloc uh, uh, accent because I they sound. To, uh, <laughs> I used to fly MIG jet <laughs> in Russian army. Go speed of sound, not even a bubble over top. Just leather helmet, goggles, <laughs> blow 
put my lips on. You grew up real rich. Yeah, 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 yeah. He grew up harder. He, he, yeah. Like uh, first mission uh, in space, I do with monkey because yeah. monkey and Russian they say it's in the same time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. As a kid, he played out. He played in some area that was like bombed out. This guy is a real man. There's something very sad, like one yeah, of those yeah. cinematic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a video of a young girl playing with a cloth doll <laughs> while they're they're playing <laughs> like, like, there's, like machine gun no holes. One knows and what it's like. like concrete. <laughs> <laughs> They're playing that. It's some girl holding a cloth doll in a bombed out portion of Russia. Anytime. Like Crimea. Or anytime there's, sad. there's <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Machine gun holes in concrete. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, God damn. Yeah. Something went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I, uh, the guy, he tells me this, which I think was a lie to throw me off, but he's like, I'm going to take my time. And then he starts going fast. <laughs> fast. <laughs> fast. I'm going to take time. I mean, I'm going to take Dude, more time. He filled, to go fast. He filled my cavity. I'm not even shitting you in like six minutes the whole time. Like, that's how long it took. The fast as fuck. Then the tech finally came in. So, but did it hurt? No, but I'll, I'll tell he you what. He must have done a good job. Oh, maybe that's well, his fucking specialty. Uh-uh. At the very end, he's uh, he's like like doing. Steady, steady. Come on, you mother. <laughs> after, Come to daddy. After he put the, uh, the like, actually the filling in, yeah. where he's like, and then he, like, grinds it out, like, smooths it yeah, out. Yeah, they kind of, they work it. Yeah. So it's with, like artistic. Sure it's so he's using the grinder, like, feverishly, and then it, <laughs> like, uh-uh. it slips off. You don't like, no! your, you don't like huh. your tongue, right? It slips off my tooth and stabs me <gasps> under the tongue. Uh, like, and I, I feel, it hurts right now. Like, oh, that's where you put your uh, marijuana teeth. <laughs> Don't be stabbing his tincher tongue. And then, so it, it like he was going. Nyeh-kang. It's like uh, yeah. it slipped off and then stabbed me hard. Like I have a puncture wound. Oh, did you uh, say shit. anything? Or? No, no, no. You I, can't because to that man, then he thinks you're scream? weak. It was no, it was numb. Your feelings are so numb. I could feel something happen, right. and then he stopped, and then the 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 tech stopped, and he turned off his was like. And then he put it we down. We will never speak of this. <laughs> <laughs> then he started, like, he brought out a light, and he started mm, looking. Mm, Pulling some Gorilla Glue. Then right. he started dabbing it. <laughs> with the something. stab wound? Yeah, 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 with something yeah. to, like, tell. Let me uh, put a piece of bread in <laughs> Look underneath his tongue. See what's going on. Let me see. I'll, I'll, uh, uh, put it on see. Twitch. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a wound? Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, dude, it's super red. Let me see. Uh, yeah, uh, it's very red. It's right under the... Uh, yeah, you can see it. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, it's yeah, bad. yeah. It's bad. So, stab me. Dude, that's a gash. And then... Uh, yeah, it's not... And then I was uh, like... It's I'm a lot bigger than I would have Yeah, I did yeah. not think it was going to be like that. That's he, a legit mouth cut. Now, your mouth uh, does heal, yeah, I guess, faster fine. than most places. But that's a legit but, mouth cut. But he did it, he, what if he severed your entire tongue <laughs> off, dude? <laughs> Isn't that like a main like, yeah. uh, 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 artery or something? Uh, 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 How do they do, like, when they cut but, your tongue... There was a girl. I've been like watching. Lizard the, man. Yeah, I've been watching that show Botched, where it's all like uh, yeah. bot surgeries. Yeah. yeah, it's about like plastic surgery. And then these two doctors, they try to make people, yep. you know, look better. And they were talking about body modification. They cut your tongue. Doesn't that bleed like crazy? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't you know. Get yeah. The, the but then they can move they can, it yeah. and separate it. Gross. Yeah, and then they move it. I <laughs> yeah. wonder if it would feel good. You yeah. know, you practically your, uh, get your tongue pierced, yeah, man. That, uh, you should get a tongue pierced. It's, it's yeah. under and a parrot. So then, he, so he like dabbed it a little bit, like looked at it, and then uh, he like put down his drill, and then he's like, uh, he's like, all right, I'm done, my friend. Uh, he's like, you may have a little sore under your tongue. Yeah, yeah. All right, bye bye. <laughs> what a dickhead! <laughs> you off. might have. He, he does that move where he's like, well, the, the tech will finish up from here. You might have a little bit of a sore in your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then took off, and then uh, I was like, all right, and then I was like, okay. That's a- okay. <laughs> the <minute is> left. <laughs> you're it's fine. You're the best patient for him. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, by uh, the way, that cinnamon whiskey is gonna fucking feel amazing. Oh, <laughs> that is gonna burn like cinnamon hell. whiskey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here's how I don't care. I scream, uh, ate a burrito. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> With uh, hot uh, Catalina, or is it Catalina sauce? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that burned it crazy. And then, uh, for whatever reason, Oh, bubbly. Valentina, Valentina. Oh, uh, yeah, Valentina, yeah. Yeah, where'd you go? Did you go to Gringo's? No, no, I made it at home. Oh, um, homemade burritos. Um, but uh, that. Uh, I'm getting who burritos this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh, but, Juan from uh, Bisto and Blondie said he's, he called it a yeah. nonsense burrito, yeah. but. Um, it is a yeah. nonsense burrito. <laughs> But he's bringing back the old Huba 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 Who burrito? Who burrito? Correct. Sorry, the Who burrito. <laughs> Another thing happened um, where 
when I brought the boys over this week. There, there was a couple times Crystal had to uh, show some houses, which whatever, is great. No one to watch uh, yeah. the boys. So either I brought them here or she dropped them off for a little bit. And uh, it was the first time they saw the uh, our new fish tank, courtesy of mm-hmm. Top Shelf Aquatics. I fucking love our fish tank. I'll and put it on for you guys to see real fast. So the so great. the boys came over and they're like, "Oh, cool!" I told them all about it, whatever. And then so they're looking at all the fish, and then I whispered. Also, hmm? the fact that Tom brings over toddlers. Doesn't inform them of any kind of rules or regulations. Mm. You know, there's a, a who knows how much that goddamn fish tank costs. It mm. doesn't say anything. They're up there touching the glass. No, like, they don't too. give they a were fuck. Banging right. on it. I, I told them. I bang on it. They love it. I'm like, we got a big rubber dick over us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Butler, Butler Put a towel to over he, he did. He threw a microphone. He did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which my mom used to call a boner a towel rack. Yeah. Don't worry. They're oblivious. Yeah, you were telling me that. Yeah, my mom used to call a towel rack a, b- a boner. Like she'd I'll be really. like, Dan Lee, don't you come walking out here with a towel rack. That's hilarious. Now, I didn't walk around my mom with a boner. I was wondering why she said that to me. Uh, you know, I don't know why she said that to me. <laughs> we'll have to call her and ask her, maybe. They're 28 years old. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, I was, I was buying my first home, and I was in, in between places. Uh, but uh, well, she looks so hot. I just figured they'll be oblivious, just like me. Uh, they won't notice anything. Um, so I, they look at the fish tank. I'm showing them all the fish, and then I'm like, uh, "See that thing right there?" And we're tr- we're trying to find out exactly what it's it, called. It's but an anemone of some sort. Yeah, Top Shelf. Uh, when they came by, Sean from Top Shelf, uh, you know, dropped off all the fish and then put the coral in. And then there's this thing that's like a quarter size anemone. That uh, has one foot on the bottom. Now in our tank, it just uh, it, it like it backed itself up underneath a uh, a rock, and it's like half under sand, half yeah. under rock. It kind of folded, and it's just chilling there. But apparently, it'll use its one foot to g- walk around the tank to another place, and then Correct. just sit up there and chill. Um, and he told me, yeah, he, it, we were like, "Oh, that thing's cool." And then he's like, uh, "We're like, what's in the middle of it?" And he's like, uh, "That's its mouth and its butthole." <laughs> yeah. And me and Daniel laugh like children. Yeah, yeah. And then we're like, "It's got a butthole I mouth." Was like, look, it's got a butthole mouth. And we were like, "Ha ha!" And he's like, "Well, the the uh, yeah. what you're calling the butthole is actually its foot, and that's what helps it move around." Yeah, yeah. he's from Jamaica. Well, I he's think like, it's got a foot and a butthole mouth. Yeah, uh, yeah, or something. But, but yeah, he was describing yeah. that it's you know that's how it uses. Uses you know whatever part of its body to kind of navigate the tank. Yeah. yeah. So, but butthole mouth is all we had to hear. Yeah, yeah. And of course, when my sons came in here, I'm like, see that thing right there? It's got a, it's got a butthole mouth. <laughs> and then they started laughing. Yeah. Like, uh, and then we all started laughing. Uh, uh, I'm in there trying to edit. And uh, just, uh, cry laughing. Oh yeah. They, so my sons <laughs> butthole mouth butthole now mouth. Butthole mouth. think the butthole mouth fish is the funniest thing they've ever heard. Yeah. And uh, yeah. can't. Stop saying it. Yes. Like it's uh, it, uh, Crystal got mad. It was like, the last thing they said we to me before they put... left. Your wife said, "Say goodbye to Mr. Daniel." And Tommy walks over, or no, uh, Max walked over and whispered. He goes, "But oh my!" He he didn't want to say goodbye. He just had oh, to say "But oh She's, she's like, mad. "Why'd you tell him that?" And I think they won't stop saying. Well, it. she yelled at you in front of all of us. Which yeah. was very uncomfortable for all of us. Yeah, and, I and, did get a And then you stood there because you were and, chastised like a child. Yeah, yeah, she was like, "You're saying butt on mouth," and now look at them. Now they're saying butt on mouth, and you're like, and then you could hear Tom get defeated. Yeah, and he's like, "Well, I shouldn't have. <laughs> I shouldn't have said it, but I said it to them. And yes, it is my fault." And then he's like, "Boys, boy, you can't." You can't and then, no, but then you, Tom, can, you can tell, and like then, he didn't mean it, yeah, and they knew it too. Yeah, they did know because because Tom is saying, "Well, I said it. I apologize. I'm sorry." And then uh, and then Tommy just looks at you and is like, "Bad on map," and you're like, oh. <laughs> and you laugh, and she's like, and then she looks yeah. at you, and then you looked at Tommy, and you did the worst thing you can do to a kid that you just laughed with, saying, "Bad right. You were like, "Tommy, that is very inappropriate." Yeah, <laughs> but you're the yeah. asshole that said it to him. Yeah, you caught that. Yeah, one. He I goes, did. That is extremely. Yeah. Inappropriate, and I know that me and Mr. Daniel Just have been saying <laughs> butthole mouth repeatedly in your face, screaming it and cry laughing, and, and that's how we make our living. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We are the butthole mouth, yeah. but it is inappropriate. Yeah, we're a, we're a professional butthole mouth. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, this is a. Uh, 
culminated into arguments at dinner where the boys can't stop saying it. it uh, well, it's infecting yeah, your house. We have to uh, <laughs> threaten them with the next person who says "bottle <laughs> mouth" going to timeout. <laughs> so, so really? They, they, oh yeah, because they, they just so say it back and forth. We're trying to eat dinner together, and we're oh, like, "No more eat dinner!" And they're yelling "butthole <laughs> yeah, mouth." Yeah. No, they don't yell. So, it. They just say it. Like all I saw that when they were sitting on the couch, it was no. It's it's like a little sweet voice, like "butthole mouth." So then oh, we oh, were face oh, we're FaceTiming oh, with Crystal's parents. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. And they're like talking and, were, and then so the the fish tank got brought up and then I'm like, no. oh, no. And they're like, oh th- Mac Tommy, you like the fish? And then they're like, but hold on. <laughs> and then my God. And they're like, what is he saying? I'm like, I, I almost, I took my ring <laughs> and then I, cut, I, I kabonged them. On the top oh, you of turned my, your ring around? Oh, no, like, hang, just hang, the hard yeah. part of my ring. I'm like, hang. and then. Uh, oh, my God. My dad used to, <laughs> that movie, turned his ring around. He'd be like, um, and stop the, saying butthole mouth, and you they're dickhead. Like, they're like, what did he say? And then I'm like, he said bubble mouth. <laughs> he said the bubble mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <"Shut> <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so butthole mouth is now uh, plagued our uh, household, <laughs> and they can't, they can't stop saying it. It's uh, and, and no matter monsters. I try to get their mind off of it. I try to do anything, but it's just it keeps, like. And I see them figuring out. They're like, they're like looking at me they're like oh, butthole mouth. <laughs> I'm like, no, God, it was almost gone. Anyway, why? Um, why is the term butthole? Why? Yeah. It's got a lot of yeah. yeah. It's it, it's a zesty word. Yeah, yeah butthole. I yeah. do think booty hole is funnier. Oh, uh, booty hole is good. Yeah, yeah. booty hole is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe yeah. maybe. No, it's already it's sunken in. It's already it's like uh, mm. they're indoctrinated with the butthole. Their butthole. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's what they find. I mean, the most it'll funniest. it'll eventually work its uh, way out to something else. Hate us because yeah. they ain't us. And and then yeah, I, I like that. Like you know, Maisie's whole thing now because on Animal Crossing she bought the statue of David, you know, or Michelangelo's uh, David. Uh, and she calls it the penis statue or the penis uh, man. Okay, uh, repeatedly calls uh, the penis man. If I have my penis out, I'm peeing. That I'm the penis man. Uh, Look, he's the uh, uh, penis man. Uh, penis man. Penis man. Penis man. Like and. and and Andrea <laughs> combats it, but then, like, I've noticed that she, and I don't know if Crystal will do this. Crystal, in my opinion, would would uh, would hold fast and not falter, but I think Andrea's beat down with Penis Man. Uh, and she's gotten to a point where she's just like, well, fuck it, I guess, just Penis Man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the kids, yeah, they, say up, yeah. Yeah, they say it so much, and you're like, butthole mouth, butthole mouth, but you get to a point where it's like, Penis Man, Penis Man, Penis Man, okay, fine, fuck it, it's Penis Man. Mm. And we're just gonna say it, and it's fine. And if you get in trouble for it, you get in trouble for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's the, I mean, I don't know what the right thing to do is, uh, uh, really, but it seems yeah, like... Yeah, we beat them, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it's... Well, then they're confused I mean, because you, like, you, you can, told me that. You think Come about on. it. Yeah. You think about it. Put soap in their mouth. People yeah. don't do that anymore, right? No, yeah, not allowed to do that. Hot yeah. sauce. Yeah. Mm. I don't think that, that. Uh, does anything. It just uh, traumatizes your kids. I no, no, Maisie, 100%. Every time yeah. Maisie says, uh, penis uh, man... I make her smoke an entire pack of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Getting them all yeah. fucked I do up. like it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think old school ignorant punishments. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, uh, they make no sense whatsoever. Like, nobody recommends you do this. Nobody. <laughs> like, this is something you made up when you, you heard about it from people that didn't know shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, it's, it's, this uh, is passed down from people who didn't know what the fuck they were talking about and thought I mean, that my, cigarettes it, are good for you. It was like, passed down from people that were arguably just a Horrible monsters, you know, like just evil. <laughs> they have no idea uh, what's yeah. going on. Dumb monsters uh, um, did that, but anyway, yeah. So the old butthole mouth that was a thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry yeah. you got in trouble for it. No, I mean, uh, you and I have a tendency to get to in it, trouble man. with the kids. It has been good seeing the boys. Yeah. I almost used to it to the point where I'm just uh, I expect it, and then it's part of my life. <laughs> it's like this will happen. No way to stop it. I, uh, yeah, and I will go through the you know couple days of uh, you know them being mad at me. And then uh, you know it'll uh, it'll be fine. I don't know what the uh, I don't know what it what it is butthole. I don't even know if that because when I was a kid, it was weird the things I could and couldn't say. I don't know what mm. you, did you have. Things no, you I'm, couldn't couldn't say, no or was your mom pretty lenient? Like, like I couldn't. I was, no I was never told anything. That's why he loves Outback so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I couldn't curse. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I couldn't curse, but like I could say like this sucks or crap. Yeah, or yeah. butthole. Like I don't think I would have nah. gotten in trouble for butthole. Mm-mm. Not in my house. But like, it, or do we crack down more on them now? You think or less? It, 
it seems like they can handle. Okay, I thought about this because I try. We've talked about it before, and uh, you go the route of the supernatural or like the magic and stuff like that, and then uh, the, of course you want to do that for them because it's like cool that they still believe in magic and things like that. Correct, but. They seem to take reality pretty good, and I, I almost... Well, that's the thing, is people, yeah. a lot of people are babying their kids too much. Like, kids are pretty resilient. Yeah, yeah. They, if they know reality, and that's their base, then they're they'll fine be, with it. They'll be better off. But yeah, yeah. They, okay. them, uh, but, then, yeah. but then it's like you're taking like their innocence away almost. By... I mean, don't talk to them about war or anything, <laughs> but, I, okay. you know. I'm going can... to throw something but, at you, and I know it's been a topic on the show, and I had not, this is not on the list, and I had not planned on talking about this, because this one actually hurt my feelings a little bit, but fuck it, I'm throwing it out All there. All right. Um, I want a puppy, and I've made, you guys know I do, mm-hmm. and, but my family, uh, my wife in particular, is uh, nixed that idea, and uh, our vet told us that in order to keep um, homeostasis sort of, you know, the, the, the pack mentality in our house is, you know, we're good. Caesar and Maisie are tight. I mean, even though he yeah. nipped her... That mm. wasn't, that was instinct. That was not a, you know, he's, yeah, he gets a, spooked. he's the sweetest fucking dog in the world. And they're still best friends. Nothing has changed. So if you remember back to that show, yes. And she's got a little scar there, you know, it's going to last with her. But like now she, I think she kind of looks at said, that's where Titi bit me. Like mm. she loves her fucking dog, you know, like mm-hmm. that's her thing. But I have gotten to like you, you say like our influence or what we do or what we say to the kids. That is a thing. You know, there's our, our nurture aspect. But man, that nature is so strong. Because Maisie said, and I wish Andrea was available right now. I think she's on a call, or I'd have her call in to tell me. Oh, if she's listening, maybe she'll call in. Maisie looked at me two nights ago <laughs> and says, because I'm like, I want a puppy, I want a puppy. Maisie looks at me and she goes, Dada, you're not getting a puppy. You're just not. Yeah. Ever. This is a quote. Ever. She goes, maybe if TT dies. Wow. <laughs> and she's just stone fucking cold to me. Oh, yeah. And I am a sensitive, uh, I'm a, f- a pussy baby in some mm-hmm. respects, and that one fucking got me. Yeah, yeah. I, she I, broke it down for you. I man. walked away, like, because I was like, it was, one, it was one of the only, if not the only time I've looked at a four-year-old, <laughs> my four-year-old, oh, yeah. and, and I had some, I had choice words. I did not like that. Dada, dada, you are not getting a puppy, <laughs> ever. Maybe if TT dies. She's just stone cold uh, killer. Oh, yeah, yeah. She uh, She's like her mom. Yeah, logical. She's fucking logical, and I. <laughs> she's like, also independent. She's uh, very. Then yeah, yeah. that is not me. That is not my influence. I did not create that. I don't <laughs> do that. Yeah. You know me. It's, you guys know yeah, me but better that's than a little. That's Andrea, though, right? Oh, so. But that's what I'm saying. It is not. Yeah. But she didn't see her mom act like that. She bowed up on me and straight up gave me a real talk. Yeah. She yeah. gave me hashtag real talk <laughs> at four years old, and what she was saying, honestly. Is probably what we're gonna fucking do, right? You know what I mean? Well, she knows, and I think yeah. that's why I was so fucking mad. I was so mad, like honestly, you were the kid mad. in that situation, oh, <laughs> fully, fully, dude. Uh, I'm ruining my sons. Uh, oh yeah, I, I still put on their underwear and shit. To, like, I, did, I put on my kid. No, they no. lift their leg up. Come on, man! But I, I say he's gonna stop like, that. But guess what? I want. I want that. Because Maisie, no, she no. wakes me up fully Roman. dressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She lays her clothes out the night before fully dressed, and then she'll Love wake it. me up, and I'm laying in bed. She's like, Dad, I wake up. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm over. <laughs> you, you could leave Maisie by herself. Oh, yeah. I feel like you Andrea's should be fine. Straight up Home Alone style. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, you She'd really could. But anyway. She'd I, cook herself an omelet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, use a stove. I did not like that Do your kids all. even know how to get their own food? Hell no. Do they know where the food is? We They were pissing us off the other day, and then... Because they eat their goddamn dinner so slow. It's We're so like, slow. Hurry! Uh, like, I'm not even Like, I'll cook my meat because I'm the only one that eats meat. So I'll usually bring my dinner to the table, like, probably 15 minutes later when they start. Because, uh, like, I'll, I'll start late or whatever. So I'll be cooking. Girls are smart, dude. The best idea is to get there late. Because you got plenty. You got a huge I'll, window. I'll, cook, I'll get there 15 minutes late, finish my whole meal, sit there, and they're, like, only 15 minutes in. It takes them a goddamn 45 minutes. Minutes to eat their dinner, slow, excruciating. What if you make it a game? 
No, I try, I've tried yeah, everything. Like, I'm, whoever he, finishes fastest Sam, wins no. something. Uh, yeah, I've, they I've have to get, whoever eats all their vegetables it's, and everything No, 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 I'm saying dessert. time. Yeah, yeah. I, but Speed that shit up. It, they it, won't. It, it, it ain't happening. It's, 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 it's the slowest. Daniel Cena. It's, 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 it's ingrained in What do you think a kid would eat fast? The honest answer is everybody knows the answer to this question. Ice cream. You know, you give a kid an ice cream, yeah, they're going to eat it fast. That's what yeah. kids do. So, Tommy ate an ice cream for two hours. So I watched his kids eat nerds one at a time. Thanks for giving my Also, by the way, it took them an hour hour to open the box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These kids don't even know how to open their own hey, candy because Tom always they opens it. pipe cleaner it. arms. Oh, oh, you know how hard it was for me not to run over there and open the box for him? Uh, uh, I, I saw th- you kept checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, they can't open the box! They're gonna die! <laughs> 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 Listen, I know that it's a bad. It's Somebody bad. give my kids some strawberry nerds. <laughs> By the way, Tommy said uh, when we talked about the nerds, he's like, uh, he's like nerds for a nerd. <laughs> oh, he knows. <laughs> he took the power away. <laughs> he's a little motherfucker. And then uh, Chris is like, who said that to you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Like, Butler like, might have been bullying your kids. Uh, yeah, then I'm like, I don't think anybody bullying said it. Bullying him. He fits right in. He's then, like the third musketeer. Then Tommy's like, Dad has said that. And I'm like, I didn't say that. Why oh, she's that? lying. On you? I don't know why. I was like, I didn't bully you. Why would you say that to our son? He's a sweet child. I'm not going to lie. I think I did say that yesterday. You may have thought I... Oh, you you're a piece of shit. shit. Yeah, you said it when you were in the office. Yeah, yeah, they probably thought it was dad ass. I was like, oh, oh, nerds for nerds. Step yeah. outside. I have to punch you. I'll use 40% So, wow, shirt. they were actually... <laughs> <laughs> they were actually paying attention. I thought they were uh, deep into that uh, game. They were. They playing. were, but but Tommy was. He take a nerd yeah. out. He set the box them. out. He take one nerd out. He <laughs> nerd his mouth. He'd eat it and then he suck on it. For yeah, it'd oh, so. be like two minutes with one nerd. He take another one out. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? So they this would drive me insane. So I had enough, and then I was like, "That's it." Oh, and like me and your mom are gonna go. Where you guys are gonna sit here and finish your dinner? Yeah. We're done. So we're gonna go finish your because we're doing their bedrooms and. Uh, uh, yeah. And add on floor stores coming on Tuesday with the Hell carpet, so we yeah. got to get everything done. So we're like, we're going to finish that, and you're not going to leave the table until you finish. Uh, you know. So we I did. Like that. So we're in Max's room messing around with his closet, and we hear him like, they're like, Mom. Ma, and, and then Chris was like, don't say anything. Like, make them yeah. think that yeah. we uh, left or whatever. And then, so, whoa, hold on, that's too far. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just abandon your children? I, I like that. I like that. Crystal's ideas. I start okay. sweating. I'm like, oh. Crystal's like, okay, listen, don't say a word. We have to make them think that we're dead. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on. What? Too far. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, what? Uh, lay on the floor. <laughs> We're going to do that. Uh, Put the ketchup on your head. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do that thing uh, the police uh, uh, do when they're trying to uh, frame the wife <laughs> that uh, hires a hitman to kill a husband. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like you're out there like, to pose the pics. Yeah, it's done. Um, so the, uh, so she's like, don't say anything. And then uh, Max like, mom, dad. Mom! And then I can hear the panic in their voice. And then they're like, uh, hello, mom! <laughs> and then Tommy's like, don't worry, Max. They wouldn't leave us. <laughs> <laughs> He's comforting him. <laughs> Tommy's so good. He's like, he was more worried than Max was uh, uh, worried. And, and, you know. You know, you know what, what, what ended up happening? I, I yeah. busted out. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love you. God. You know what I get? This is what I get. I come home from work. My, uh, my wife and daughter haven't seen me all day. Come up the stairs. I'm like, hey, guys. Andrew will give me a kiss. I go, what's up, May? I'm home. She'll be like, I know that, Dad. <laughs> I know that, da uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I get. I know that, da da. That's that's something. Um, anyway, uh, you want to take around. a little break? Yeah, Let's yeah. Let's take a break. Hey, this is pretty cool. And I played a little bit of this for you this morning. It looks like No Effects and Frank Turner are putting out a uh, like a a split. Where yeah. they cover each other's songs, and it's going to be called West Coast versus Wessex, and uh, this is uh, you're, you're getting both here. So I'm going to start with No Effects covering um, Frank Turner. So you're going to hear Thatcher Fuck the Kids by mm. Frank, and then uh, and then uh, Frank covers Bob by No Effects. Yeah. And the I way heard that, a little bit while you're this morning is that's great. Yeah, it's so good. So check out both of these. Uh, these are their spin on cover songs that are coming out in 2020. We'll be back with more a mediocre time right after this. Whatever happened to childhood? We're all scared as the kids in our neighborhood. They're not small, charming, and harmless. They're violent. You know, we don't do apologies on the show very often, but due to the last time Mm. I recorded an ad for the at-home floor store, Uh 
I got a lot of email from people oh. that questioned a phrase I used saying, and I quote, he's got a hog in his pants, it'll make your pussy dare. <laughs> <laughs> I am voluntarily pulling myself out okay. of this commercial. All right. Yeah. And I will not, trusted, I yeah. cannot be trusted any uh, longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I would just like to say mm. that all of the email I got about it was from people that wanted to either A, use at Home Floor <laughs> Store oh. or liked me saying he's got a hog in his ass. <laughs> Make a pussy dance. Take that. Take that. It works. <laughs> pussy dancing for everybody. Uh, Justin Whitaker from At Home Floor Store. This is where I go silent. Will uh, make your pussy dance. <laughs> yeah! 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 Too. yeah! Oh, man! Yeah! <laughs> oh, there you go. I hope one day we'll be old. We'll be sitting in uh, some UCF like marketing uh, course. Like they're they're. Uh, so how did you get people to <laughs> use your your clients when uh, they would come to you and say, "This is the message we'd like to get out." Well. We have a very un- we have a very unconventional way. Mm-hmm. The little one would yell, "He's got a hog in his pants." <laughs> make a pussy dance. The big one would play good cop for just a little while, but then eventually he danced the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and then people writing, uh, writing, yes, 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 yes. write this down, write this down. <laughs> um, everybody, listen. Write down, um, write down, hog in your pants. Write that down. <laughs> write down, hog in your pants. Every typing. <laughs> okay, everybody, uh, if you're listening, I want you to write down pussy dance. Write down pussy dance. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Jonathan, you in the back. Um, when I say the phrase "hog in your pants," what? How does that make you feel? How would you? Mm. Let's let's give me. It, is it? Uh, yes. Make your pussy dance. That's very good. See. Um, okay, guys. I think we're done for today. Um, I think we're done. At home. <laughs> <laughs> at home floor store, yeah, <laughs> we'll get there eventually. So uh, I'm actually using at home on Tuesday. I know you are. Um, he's coming in and putting a brand new carpet in both the boys' rooms. I gotta have him come over again because yeah. you know outside where I do all my uh, grilling and chilling. Shout out uh, to uh, Samantha's podcast, Semantics. Mm. I uh, I need new tile. The grout because of uh, Florida sunshine has just yeah. been destroyed, and I need something that's gonna be a little more outdoor hardy. Yeah. And they can do all of that for you. In fact, the coolest thing is you're gonna get the better price. You're also going to get them to come to you. You don't have to go to them. Yep. And I know that's important for people right now when you're social distancing. You know, yep. you're trying to to be smart about your choices and knocking out the brick and mortar building is yeah, one yeah. of the smartest things you can do for price and also for the uh, the ability to to use those samples and get them inside your house and kind of design your space. Yeah, they'll leave the samples with you for uh, days if you want to just put them on the floor, yep. see what uh, see what kind of flooring you want. But they do everything uh, that luxury vinyl plank they can lay on top of your existing tile. Yep. Cuts or, down on the dust flooring. and yeah. cuts down on the demolition time. Yeah, it's uh, completely waterproof, uh, scratch proof. I mean, they, they got really good products, but they do uh, uh, laminate flooring regular. Wood flooring, tile, carpet, carpet. I mean, they got really good, high quality carpet. All the stuff their installers are great. We've got a bunch of BDMs that have used them. Uh, Freddie, uh, Austin, and Becca Rouse, uh, Sam Cargill. Uh, you and I Todd, both have used them. Todd uh, Bart Merrick. Um, I'm going to use them. Yeah, like uh, tons oh, of. Oh, I think listeners. the Danger Brains use them. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, yeah. like it's just the list goes on and on and on. And the cool thing about them, uh, they're BDMs. They're great guys. They're listeners. Uh, they come to you. I cannot stress that enough. That's the best part, is that you just schedule your appointment and uh, you get the ball rolling. It's a lot easier. And you're saving money because they don't have a brick-and-mortar facility. Uh, They just go to you with the at-home floor store van. So it's athomefloorstore.com. Tell them we sent you the hook you up. You can now watch live video streaming of A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. Almost all shows are broadcast on Twitch. Just head over to twitch.tv slash Tom and Dan live to watch all of a corporate time shows and Friday free shows. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, you're going to hell. No. Thanks for killing small businesses. Nope. Sorry, that's not what the copy says. It says... You get special perks and commercial free viewing for all shows just for subscribing. And kill small businesses as a bonus, says the guy who's got five Amazon packages right here. And it doesn't cost you a penny. It's twitch.tv slash Tom and Dan live. Put faces with the voices. Hashtag TDABC is the hashtag you use anytime you go to your local ABC and buy something. Just take a uh, picture, use that hashtag of whatever you bought. Maybe you bought some uh, delicious 
uh, Sugar Works uh, whiskey. Yeah. Or, you know, they, well, Butler brought us uh, some of their varieties, right? We've got the uh, the Shark Bite that mm-hmm. we're going to get down on. The Calalisa Creek yeah. is a uh, another fine whiskey product, but. For all of your uh, adult beverage needs, uh, always be celebrating. That's ABC. And yep. uh, we're proud to have them as one of our clients for a long time. And I know many of you guys have gone there, used the hashtag, taken the photos. Yeah. And we love showing ABC. You know, but you guys support it, them. It's yeah. amazing. And uh, we're giving away a weekly prize. In fact, now a $25 gift card to ABC. We're giving out weekly to anybody who uses that nice. hashtag, uh, obviously randomly, because a lot of you are using it. So <laughs> one, one winner a week yeah. will win a, a $25 gift certificate. Also, if you go to thehumidor.com, use promo code Tom and Dan if you're going to buy any cigars. Uh, they got constant specials on there. If you use the promo code, you'll get a percentage off. Uh, they'll know that it's coming from us, so that helps us. Usually, uh, the promo code is going to be Tom and Dan for anything, any yeah. of our clients. So uh, remember that promo code, but it's ABC Fine Wine and Spirits all across Florida. You yeah. guys know where they Tons are. Tons of locations, uh, an amazing variety of all of your liquors, your wines, your beer, your White Claw, yeah. everything you can find it at ABC. And if they don't have it, like even some of the local products like Sugar Works, you can ask for it. Yeah. And They'll then, get it for you. Yeah, 100%. It's ABC. ABC and thehumidor.com. Will he ever walk the line? That is Frank Turner covering No Effects uh, Bob. Well, welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. Um, Tom. I wonder if he'll sing that at first. Uh, I would imagine he could. I, I think it's fucking great. I mean, I thought I did a bang up job on, uh, and like somebody said in the chat room, uh, a lot of people are saying that was rad. Um, a lot of people are saying it's like, um, uh, oh, uh, Stephanie Shea said, uh, old song through new eyes. Yeah. I love shit like that. And that's why I try to give you guys a, you know, something cool, something different for. For, uh, for music. Um, let's see. Where are we going to go now? I know that Tom is trying to get a hold of our good friend Seth Petrozelli and yeah. Felicia Spencer. He just texted me to call now because they're uh, they're about to do their way in. Oh, oh, cool. So we'll, uh, I get we'll check in. I, I get really nervous for these fights, man, especially since we know her. Yeah, yeah. I know. Um, like, she's fighting tomorrow. I talk to her on Instagram all the time. Yeah. It's uh, line. line one. All right, Tom, I'm so excited for her for this weekend. I know. Oh, yeah, it's going to be huge. Seth, are you there? Yeah, we're we're gonna we can't really scream or talk loud because we're in the middle of all the fighters. We're in the back room for oh, weigh-ins. Me scream. and Felicia are right here. Oh, okay, man. perfect. Hey, hey guys. what's up? What's up? So, uh, Seth, where are you weighing? Like right now, about to do the weigh-in? No, we already weighed in. We're just waiting for like a face-off uh, oh. thing. Um, when you do that face-off, is it awkward? It always seems awkward standing <laughs> there with the person you're about to fight, and then you're supposed to be mad at them, but uh, yeah. you've been you guys great at the yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I know you, uh, you, in the past, you've kind of done the uh, kind of smirk laugh, and you've, yeah. you're you always good at that. Uh, do you have anything planned for this one? No, I mean, it's always a little bit funny. Like, we always usually, or I usually kind of giggle, but... I mean, she's sitting kind of right in front of me right now. You're breaking down the fourth wall for it. Yeah, damn it. She's sitting right here right, eating a bagel. Yeah. <laughs> she's, uh, we're a die no because uh, yeah, we just mouth, weighed in. Her mouth was dry, so I handed her a sucking candy. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's literally like, we're, 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 we're sitting down, we're staring at her, she's staring at us as we're talking about her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. Hi, I can hear you talking about me. <laughs> um, so, uh, how was the flight in? Is it weird the, with all these new rules? Uh, the flight actually went really well for at least for me. Like it, the flight wasn't too full, so I had like a row. Well, I sat in the same room as my husband, but I got to like lay down, you know, and like fall asleep a little bit. So it was pretty comfortable, not too crowded. Yeah, it wasn't like that for me, guys. Just so you know, it was the total opposite for me. <laughs> so, oh, oh, <laughs> were you flying in the uh, cargo hole? No, no, no. First of all, there was some old man, some old man that was like, "I ain't wearing no, I ain't wearing no mask in this plane." Well, you got so and the whole time he was like, he's literally sitting behind me, coughing the entire time. Every time he coughed, 
I hit the back of the seat, turn around and look at him like in an angry face, which, which you couldn't see because I had my mask on, but I was like squinting my eyes, giving him an evil look, but he just kept, he didn't care. But no, I, you know, I like <laughs> Seth. scaring that old no, man. I, Seth, I like that because the only person that's not scared of Seth as a, you know, like as a big yeah, muscly yeah, guy dumb old man. Dumb old man. Yeah. yeah. He's like, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, what are you going to beat me up? I'll shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, how no, it, was, it, was, it was like one of those guys that didn't want to go ahead. How, how is uh, the Vegas atmosphere right now? Is it like slower? Because you guys have been out there before, obviously, when yeah. it's not COVID. So, is everything like eerily yeah. slow right now? No. Well, well, okay, so as soon as we went to the, to the airport, normally everyone's at every single slot machine, gambling and stuff like that. They, they, those were open in the airport, but every other seat was allowed to be taken. But since we've been here, um, Nothing was open until last night. Everything opened last night. So literally, we haven't been able to see anything. But just driving around, you, you can't really tell. Going into casinos, I guess, is, is, is where you'd be able to tell. But we haven't done that. Um, and how they're doing it is we immediately showed up. They, they gave us a, a COVID test. And then the next day, or today, I should say, we have another appointment to do another one. And after this one today, we're on total lockdown. We're not allowed to leave the hotel. We're not allowed to, be, we're not allowed to do anything. Do they, do they do the nose test or is it the mouth swab or the butt test? And the, the butt test? No, it's, it goes through the butt and then in the throat. <laughs> they, they shove it, they shove it all the way up. Yeah, they shove it so far up. They want to make sure they get a good uh, good scraping. <laughs> no, they do the they do the they do the throat they do the throat test. So I'm embarrassed that I said butt test to a uh, a fighter that I admire as much as Felicia. I, you know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave the conversation. I'm uh, embarrassed of myself. Uh, uh, so Felicia, so, yeah. uh, so, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I want to talk to the star, Seth. Uh, I know you've yeah. had your time. I mean, can we get? Can, can we please have some time with her, Captain Crop Top? You've had. Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna hand the phone to. I'm gonna hand the phone to. I'm just gonna go for a walk. I, I already called. I already my. Everybody called me her, her shadow anyway, so it's fine. Oh, oh, oh yeah. shadow. Uh, uh, Dana White's like, hey, Felicia, like, oh, I remember me. I'm the guy, the Kimbo I was guy. on the show. I was on the show. Uh, remember me, pink hair? Remember me? I, uh, so, Felicia, um, uh, are you uh, like, are you excited the fact of fighting with no crowd? Does that affect you at all? Or are you so tunnel vision during the fight that the uh, the crowd noise is going to have no vo- no effect, or is it going to aid you because you can hear your trainers better? Like, uh, or is it a, a, a you know no big deal? I- I think for some fighters, the crowd like amps them up and makes them perform better. But for some fighters, I think I think I would fall into the second category of people who would probably do even better without a crowd. Like I feel like it'll make me feel like I'm at the gym more. You know, like yeah. just quiet room, hear the coaches, hear hear the punches land, hear the breathing, like just normal. It'll just feel more normal, maybe. I mean, it's, it's cool because we're sitting in the room that I'm fighting in right now, we're doing the way it's right next to the cage I'm fighting in. The cage is the same size, as, pretty much the same as the one at the gym. It's a little smaller than the usual yeah. usual cage they fight in, so everything is, is just going to feel really familiar, I think. You know, like I'm already here in the room, you know, and yeah, it's going to be great. a little more intimate, but I think I yeah. think my focus is, is always on the fight before the crowd, and I think that's going to help me more. Yeah, 100%. I, yeah. I, uh, I definitely see that giving you an advantage. Um, and, uh, man, I'm super excited to watch yeah. the fight tomorrow. Now, what would you say, Felicia and Seth, a question for both of you, what would you say to those that have ha- have said that the more COVID tests you get, the more likely you are to, uh, you know, damage your septum like Artie Lang and collapse your nose? This is a question from the uh, the Twitch <laughs> viewers, and uh, just what? I was just putting it out there, just, Seth, they want, our, our listeners want you to know that the more COVID tests you get, your nose will collapse. <laughs> Like Artie, like, like Artie, you. just Art, like Artie Lang. They, they are. They wanted you to get that in your mind, so uh, it would uh, haunt you tonight. So the COVID test is worse than getting punched in the face for a living. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what they say. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. J- jokes on them because our nose is already smashed up. So it doesn't yeah, really that's true. That's true. Fel- Felicia, yeah. I'm curious. Like uh, tonight, uh, the night before a big fight, uh, is it easy for you to like? Because you always come off so calm and yeah. like uh, have. Happy and unstressed, and just that humble I, and nice. I just feel like you, uh, you're a different uh, human than the rest of us because, like, it seemingly all this pressure doesn't get to you. So, are you able to like sleep tonight? Like, I'll be up all night, like nervous, like, uh, but like yeah. in my mind, going opening over. your son's candy box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, are you fine with I, the night before the fight? I'm, I'm, 
Yeah, I'm pretty good. You know, like usually the like last night, I hardly ever sleep much on the the night that I'm cutting weight. Just I don't know, just you know, you're dehydrated, and yeah. so I think it kind of like plays out where it kind of catches up to me, and I get a good restful night's sleep the night before the fight because yeah. <laughs> I only sleep for like a couple hours. Usually, like last night, I woke up at like one o'clock in the morning and didn't fall back asleep. I just laid there all night until the next bath. <laughs> so it'll catch up to me, but uh, no, I, I don't. Uh, it doesn't get it doesn't get like worse the night before like today i'm gonna have a smile on my face more than ever because i'm you know i'm back to eating carbs again and yeah. carb loading so like how can i not smile yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mouth, you know, okay here's a and eat and, here's a silly yeah. question but maybe not what is the carb of choice favorite carb uh well right now it's not about like taste you know the, here's yeah. the thing that i've learned it's over performance the years. yeah I, exactly like i used to, to weigh in and then go out to eat and like smash whatever like pasta cheese sure barbecue chicken like whatever it was uh and that's a very narp thing to do by the way you eat <laughs> for what it's worth not for the taste you know, <laughs> but, uh, but, so for, t- for today like uh rice uh, oatmeal. I yeah. like, like. I'll probably have a lot of oatmeal for breakfast, and like, I'll have a lot of rice. And the, actually, the UFC Performance Institute uh, and Trifecta get together, and they supply me with a whole bunch of food. So I have a bag that they just gave me. It's got like some healthy pasta dish, and uh, what it looks like rice down there. Um, they gave me a thing of watermelon that I, I requested, and uh, that's how I knew I made it. Like. I wanted watermelon, and they made it happen, and now, now I feel like top of the world. No, that's no, no, you're right, though. When you reach a point where you can tell the organization what you like to eat, and then they gift it to you, oh, yeah, yeah. that is like not a, main event. Not yeah, a lot of fighters get to do that. You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You're, you, I would be proud of that, too. Oh, oh, for, Felicia, I'm curious. Do, do they treat you better? Like, you are the main event of this UFC. Like, uh, do, do you, can you tell a difference between how, like, your previous fights went, and now, like, that you are the star of the show that uh, they they like, oh, watch out, for, yeah. for Felicia's coming. Like, uh, yeah. no. oh, okay. Honestly, yeah. they always do a really good job of taking care of everybody. Like, I always felt pretty taken care of, and maybe I just like wouldn't have had the balls to ask for watermelon before, but now I'm like, yeah, I think they might actually give me watermelon. Let me yeah. ask for it. Like, she, she did ask me just now, like right before the interview. She was drinking her Pedialyte and, and stuff from Trifecta, and she goes, Seth, can you see if they can get me a straw because I don't want to chug this. I want to sip this. So I did go hunt for a straw for Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me the, my straw, assistant. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't have, did have one. Somebody tried to sell me one out of their Starbucks cup for $2 and I said, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, is it, I'm interested when Felicia wins, is there going to be a celebration? Uh, like, because now, oh, like, yeah. uh, everything's shut down and then you can't, you know, like, do you guys uh, personally celebrate back at the hotel? Or do, yeah, what do you, do you uh, plan that? Well, it sounds like as of Thursday night or morning, or, I don't know, for sure by now, the casino, like, half, at least half the casinos are open again. So we'll probably, because, like, over here, the event is over by 9 o'clock. Over there, it's, like, midnight, you know. But right. over here, it's still, we have a whole night ahead of us. So I'm sure we'll have a good time. I'm sure we'll be able to go out and get uh Get some good drinks and some good pizza. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be 2009 Seth all over again. Yeah. <laughs> Is that when you would bully me and you'd send photos of yourself nude with a pizza covering your genitals? <laughs> Yeah, that was about that time. Man. That was like he would time. go. This guy is such a bully. He would go to the grocery store and then yeah. he'd buy a bunch of NARP food and then he would pose looking like an Adonis on his bed nude and then cover his yeah. naked body with different treats he eats and send it to me <laughs> just to let me know that I'll never look like that and never be able to eat like that responsibly. Well, uh, Felicia, <laughs> thanks for uh, taking the time to uh, talk to us. Yeah, uh, we are honored that you would uh, gift us some time. And uh, of course, you know uh, we're all going to be rooting for you. We're all going to be watching the fight yep. and uh and we have uh nothing but faith that uh that you will destroy new yeah Man. it's gonna happen it's definitely gonna happen well we we care about you guys we love you a lot and just uh uh i won't say uh good luck you don't need it uh, uh yeah. i'll just say uh we'll see you, you when you get back in town yeah yeah, we'll have to do some kind of after party somewhere. Oh, 100%. Yeah, if everything's so close, we'll party at your place in that little, uh, in your, in your little podcast room. <laughs> oh, 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 now he's mad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I'm not mad. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. may. Oh, ooh, I'm scared. Yeah, yeah. She said, she, 
she said she'll bring the belt to the show. All, All right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seth, whatever you do, don't embarrass Felicia. No. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, this gotta, this is the time to show. Stop with the crop tops. You're the straw hunter, and always know that. <laughs> 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 You're trying to get the straw. Yeah. Straw hunter. Mm. That don't be my shirt. It says straw hunter. But, okay. but I'm going to give myself a shameless plug because I'm so, filming a lot of stuff back here now. Like you, I have the weigh-ins already filmed. I have like the meal she had, the trifecta stuff, the cage, everything behind the scenes. I have in my Instagram uh, story right now. Oh, okay. yeah, at, so Silverback, at Silverback Stuff. If you guys want to follow me at Silverback Stuff, you guys can kind of check it out. And I'll do it the rest of the day today and tomorrow too, leading up to a fight. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's, it's gonna. That's the best coverage you're going to get is social media. So follow Seth and yeah. follow yeah. Uh, him and Felicia's and, journey. And the fight's on ESPN Plus, correct? Yes. Um, the under, I think the undercard is, but this is a pay per view, yeah, so a you have to be on ESPN Plus to buy it, though. Okay, oh, yeah. you have to have ESPN Plus to purchase pay per view. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. So, so just purchase yeah. the fight through ESPN Plus. That, and, yeah, and you have to have both, but yeah, yeah. it's easy to do. Yeah. You can do it all. Perfect. Alone. Well, yeah. uh, good luck, guys. We're rooting for you, and uh, we'll be watching tomorrow night. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah, no See problem. you guys later. See, See you. That is Seth Petrozelli and Felicia Spencer. Now, if she awesome. wins, that is the last time we ever talk to her, right? She's not. No, oh, she'll she'll not, not, no, no, no. She's not that type of person. She, yeah, she's Seth great. Would but she'll that. be too busy. I Seth think. would do that to us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she, that's no. true. Oh. You know what? He has said that it, well, she would be very busy and it would be harder to get over. Right. But I think she would make time. You're talking about a person who will literally just pop into my Instagram direct messages just to say, like, oh, I saw your daughter riding her bike. That's so cute. You know, like. By the way, she wore a Tom and Dan shirt. Uh, last time on TV. Yes. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. is like... We've asked Seth to do that how many times? Wow. Well, <laughs> forget, uh, Tom happen. forgets to pay. There's a lot of bad blood between him and, and Tom. <laughs> I don't even know that. why he gets paid. I, that still no, confuses me. I know. Well, well he, he demanded in, it one time. He does time. news and then they yeah, fight. People and then people have done news on the show for years. Uh, no, I didn't want to, but then I was like, oh, God. The Fisher people. demands to get paid, too. People like him. These no. fucking prima donnas, <laughs> they come in here and they think just because they crack the, 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 the top on a couple of dumb fucking news stories, I'm just I'm paying him uh, to keep Felicia around. Uh, that's a, that's a <laughs> real star. I don't think star. you need to do that. <laughs> uh, let me quote Steph. Uh, let me uh, let me quote uh, uh, Steph Shea again in our Twitch chat mm. room, who said Felicia is the best part of Seth. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Which I think that's a that's yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah. funny. That's a funny funny. It's definitely uh, it's going to be a tough fight. Uh, Nunez yeah, is uh, well, she's a she's a great fighter. Yeah. She, They're yeah. both great fighters. It's going to be a great fight, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, it might be. It could either. I think it's either going to. It you know it's going to be. One, I mean, it's a stupid thing to say one of two ways, but it's, it's either going to be a learning lesson for Felicia, because I don't think that regardless of the outcome, like she is just beginning to be awesome. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But um, for uh, Nunez, uh, you know, who knows? Nunez? Uh, who knows? It could be it's uh, Nunez. Yeah, Nunez. Yeah. I, yeah, I want to say Nunez. I think a lot. Like, yeah. it, I, I, I think I've only said it right. And then uh, I heard you say Nunez, and I changed it. You know, eh, I, yeah. Whatever. She's going to lose. I don't care. It's uh, Amanda Nunes. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Nunez? Yeah. Uh, here's a couple gambling Throw it uh, out there, things buddy. that I yeah, like about this. Oh, my God. Here we go. Um, I, uh, I like uh, Felicia Spencer wins by submission, uh, plus 750. Um, now, I've seen a lot of people on my gambling page already took uh, Felicia just to win outright, and that's plus 425. It's still a decent, but... Uh, but in my, in my estimation, I was talking to Seth before, is like, hey, if I see her, if she wins, uh, she's going to win by submission. Uh, he thinks she's got a little bit better... Would, uh, would that be considered than, her specialty? Nunez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And a lot of people, professionals, are predicting uh, Nunez to maybe win by TKO first round, but I think that's clouded by the fight with Cyborg and the fact that Nunez knocked her out so fast. And right. that, that, I think that clouds people... Well, people don't know a lot about Felicia. Yeah, and, I th- and so now there's another... If you want to go Felicia by TKO... Uh, that's um, let's see, plus fourteen hundred. So you could bet uh, ten bucks uh, to win one hundred and forty. Um, so uh, nobody ever argued about that. If you want to, then hedge your bet. Uh, maybe Nunez uh, by decision, um, which is plus money too. I'm betting on that just to hedge. Uh, and I know people don't like doing that, but uh, I'm a pure gambler. I just want to win money. So uh, I will hedge with Nunez by decision at the end because I don't think Felicia's going to get knocked out. I just uh, that's my 
hunch. She's never been knocked out in a fight. I think she has a strong jaw. I punched her as hard as I could <laughs> uh, ten years ago. It's not very and often. It did not that, do it well, she was a she was a new fighter then. It's yeah. not very often you get to talk to a man who actually punched a. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, no, but I mean, like, uh, like he, back then I didn't I, say it was as hard as I could, but it was as hard as I could, <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't even phase her. And she no. punched both my black eyes and my nose. I was. Uh, I need to she, see a picture of. It, oh, it she was beat me bad, bad. Real I remember bad. when it happened, but I want to see the fresh picture of it oh, just yeah. to. Just to knock well, you down I mean, a peg. It's out there she somewhere. Is, uh, tough. Drunky yeah. the it's, bear, it's, black eye. Uh, oh, it's definitely I'm tell out my there sons, somewhere. I, you know, when she's the champion, I'll be like, I punched the champion. <laughs> 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 so it's <so>, like, you know what? And then you know what he's going to say? He's going to go, buttle now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Then you're like, ah, god damn it. Yeah. And um, she punched me a uh, hundred times. You want to jump into some voicemail messages? Yep. And uh, we can, like, you know, I've got so many voicemails to get to. And uh, we can jump in those for a oh bit. My so God. we're going to do mail. Oh, did you find it? There's a website called Knockout Lounge. Dot com, and, yeah. it, and it basically just gives kind of backstory on the fighters. And you were mentioned in this. Oh, man. Who? You, as Drunky the Bear. What, 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 what is it say? What's it called? Hold on. Uh, Knockoutlounge.com. What'd you type in? I typed in uh, <laughs> Drunky the Bear Fights Woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? Yeah. That's what someone wrote. Hold on, I'm trying to is find it. Is it a blog? It, or it's just a website that like gives backstory on... Knockout Lounge. Yeah, you are in here. And what the hell is that? Uh, hold on, I'm going to go here so everybody can kind of see this. All right, I'm on Knockout Lounge. Uh, there she is. I'm just reading. Oh, is, it, is it coming back to haunt her? That's my dream. That uh, <laughs> <laughs> that she'll have to make some sort of statement. But like I'm, I uh, back in the day, I shouldn't have done it, but I fought this fat radio boy <laughs> and I punched him good. I don't see where does where does I'm it trying mention? to find it. Oh, here it goes. It's, they asked any interesting stories to share, learning experience while fighting you would like to share. She says, back before my first fight, my friend and training partner, Jamie Moyle, and I did a halftime show for an Orlando Predators football game. I went on the radio to promote a fight with a radio personality, Drunky the Bear, (laughs) who went on and on about how no woman can beat a man in a fight and saying all sorts of funny sexist jokes, mostly pertaining to the kitchen. I don't remember. Long story short. (laughs) That doesn't sound like you. That doesn't sound like anything I'd say. Yeah, you would never do that. Long story short, we had an (laughs) exhibition all in good fun for the halftime show, and we put it on Drunky the Bear. The crowd was awesome, and the experience was unforgettable. Gettable, and on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> it's on YouTube? That's what she said. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. We played the video before. We have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> way we played it multiple times. It almost, uh, it's like uh, I, my fame is gone, and now I'm just trying to hold on to old shit. Uh, be like, I Wait, fought the I champion. Knew- <laughs> did, you, did you just say it's kind of like that? Like, <laughs> I like you know, it's kind of like, and I'm like, God damn, we've been doing this since day one. What the fuck are you talking about? It's kind of like, tell them what it is. Just be honest. You with shut them. the fuck up. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, I'm excited to watch the fight. Uh, it uh, it is going to oh, be your toughest name uh, wrong. God fight. Damn it. I uh, this is going to be uh, this is going to be tough. Yeah, um, I want to find the one where. How, how do I find the one where they fought? Uh, Sam will probably find it. Oh, the, the, it's on YouTube. If you if you, it, I think I don't even know. If you, well, you did a lot of halftime shows, yeah, so yeah, I got to search God. through all. Yeah, there's tons <laughs> of we play, uh, halftime they all shows. Our there. listeners, though, yeah, <laughs> they're tired yeah, of yeah, They're like, really? You guys are going <laughs> to do really? Really? <laughs> tired of this shit. Yeah, let's do this right here. <laughs> I'm taking the same story. <laughs> mm, hey, guys. Thanks for calling. 1 800 Hot Dick. The place to find real action with real men. To make it even better, we've got new low prices. So low, we're practically giving it away free. If you are a man seeking a woman, press 1. If you are a woman seeking a man, press 2. If you are a man seeking a man, press 3. Male on male. Male on male, brought to you by... So you go uh, Goldsmith Jewelry. Yeah. I know uh, uh, a BDM uh, actually got his engagement ring there uh, literally right before we started advertising with Goldsmith. And uh, we're going to put him on the list to uh, come in and watch the show once we well, open why? that back up. 
Uh, yeah, because we were like, hey, uh, thanks for supporting no, the sponsor no, even didn't. before we started talking <laughs> no, about but it. We wouldn't. That wasn't. That's not the deal. <laughs> and I, I'm just giving it. You that's know, not like, the hey, deal. You're you're you. you're. What are you going to open every uh, listener's nerd box for them so they can eat their nerds one by one? Is that what you're going to do? You going to baby all of them? Uh, if he didn't, get, no, okay, yeah, I want him to come in. <laughs> yeah. So Goldsmith Jewelry on Lee Road. They specialize in custom made jewelry. Yeah. If you're in the doghouse or about to get a divorce, maybe a good time to get that. Uh, well, the best thing you can do. Right now. Yeah, yeah. If you're about to get a divorce, there's two things you can do. First of all, you need to get your uh, your wife or girlfriend a uh, you know because you can break up there too. Uh, some diamonds and uh, number two, you need to have kids because that solves every relationship problem. Well, I did find a video of of Tom fighting Seth while he's blindfolded and his legs are tied together. Yeah, oh, yeah that's, that's, another, uh, that's, that's bullshit. Yeah. We don't talk. That's not the real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Delete that, that. By the way, that I, I've been uh, trying to get that pulled down. I don't realize how strong Seth was because uh, I I tried to like shoot in to tackle him. Like uh, that's what they call it, right? Yeah, the shooting in. I uh, and then he instinctively like felt me coming in and then moved his shoulder and I almost knocked myself out on his shoulder <laughs> just by Kyle. headbutting him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he knows because it's uh, pure muscle. He uh, definitely knows what yeah, he's yeah. doing. So uh, anyway. Uh, what do we got first? Yeah, let's go email first. How All about right. that, uh, All Sam? All right. Uh, mediocre image message. Perfect. Divorce dad pads. Hit me up. I got shitloads of stories. We can start with spending the night in a Mexican prison. Uh... <laughs> Hi, Our Sam. listeners okay. do some. So he uh, sent us a picture. Yeah, show these pictures to Tom oh. of his um, uh, dad pad. He's got a lot of a uh, lot of black leather, a lot of brushed aluminum. Oh right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the finest of wagon wheel coffee tables. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. yeah which, is, which around the bottom has bottles of Jim Beam, empty oh, bottles. Well, of Jim yeah, Beam. because that's not a wagon wheel. That is a spool. Yes, it is. It's yes. a wire spool that construction workers would take from a site when it's done. One. Uh, oh, okay. One painting. And then one lonely picture of Kurt Cobain smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, 90s dad. That's it. <laughs> yeah. 90s divorce dad. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, for whatever reason, the saddest part wow. of all this is him by himself hammering the nail to hang that Kurt Cobain picture by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Only one picture. Like, yeah. what, who is who, yeah. that for? He, he nailed, is that for you? Nailing, it looks like there's a tiny bonsai tree and a giant potted plant. Yeah. All alone, pot well. you're nailing your picture of Kurt Cobain. That, rape me. <laughs> just sad. Just sad as hell. I've got it all wrong. It's a thumbtack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but is that how so you sip your coffee, coffee and yeah. you look at uh, Kurt Cobain you're like, all right. There hey, there's, 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 uh, you know, this place looks great with a little all apologies <laughs> on the wall. All right. <laughs> You know who? Uh, what will impress my uh, new dates? Uh, all my Jim Beam bottles. <laughs> That'll show them. That I, uh, what? You're an alcoholic? Oh, you're an alcoholic and you like Kurt Cobain. Great. <laughs> Coming as I am. You have a lot of things going for you. Oh, wait, is that a wagon wheel? Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, girls in the 20s love that. Oh, man. Uh, who it's... is that picture of? <laughs> my guys, I'm a Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a tiny haircut. What's funny is... Tommy, if you let Tommy's hair grow out... You, you can put the glasses dude, on him. You know what it is? Is men must revert back to the time where they're single, which yeah. is the nineties for this yeah, guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like uh, you revert. I think back. you've cracked the code. Yeah, yes, you have. Because I would do- <laughs> every morning playing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Going to construction work. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna go uh, smoke my 305 <laughs> on the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, uh, you kids, go ahead and get some uh, Pop-Tarts. I'm going to go out on the uh, balcony, smoke my 305, and listen to uh, some Nirvana. <laughs> you, Because uh, I, I feel like I would, because I have no experience whatsoever with yeah. uh, dating scene or being alone, really, uh, since I was like in the high school. So yeah, We if, should make out. If put I got some to... music on. Do you like garbage? <laughs> it only happens when it rains. <laughs> I'm only happy when it mm-hmm. When Crystal finally kicks me out, I have to get uh, some sad. I can't even afford Baldwin Park because I'd have to go to oh, that, yeah. that one. No, the you'll outsc- be playing No Effects Bob that was <laughs> earlier. The outskirts are- <laughs> I'm going to go to nutty. Google. I'm like, Primus poster. <laughs> <laughs> Why not add a big brown beaver? Alexa, play Primus, Frizzle Fry. 
<laughs> I'll, I'll have everything like, 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 1999 uh, like, uh, what, Hey, what's your Xbox? Uh, what's your gamer tag? Yeah, well, I'm sure it was a race car driver 69 <laughs> hey, Who wants to play Wii? <laughs> oh. Sam Cargo gave it to me. <laughs> yeah, You've been dropping his name a lot lately. Yeah, I was sitting in the pool. I, I, I was sitting in the pool. I got in trouble because he. Can I tell this story? <laughs> what uh-huh. about the Wii? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. So yeah. Tom got a gift and a Wii from Sam Cargo, and then so <laughs> I'm in the pool, and then, and then his wife comes out and goes. Why did you do that? And you're like, what a what? Which, you know, what right. do you expect him to say? Of course that he's going. That literally is every time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he does it to Sam. He's like, Sam will be like, why did you do that? Like, what did I want? Like, how many times have you said it as an adult? Yeah, why did million. I want? Probably a million. So he yeah. goes, what did I want? And she's like, you left the Wii on, and now Max is in there, and he won't come out and play with Tommy and Maisie, and they're playing, and Max is in there. He's staring at it like a crack at it. This is your fault. That's only for family time. Well, I didn't know. And then it goes into this whole thing, and then you guys disappeared for a long time. Long time. She yeah. was beating him. Well, uh, <laughs> what did you do? Well, because it was supposed to be the rule was and one. You know, yeah, I have I rules have. with. Look, guess guess I what? Have, I have rules with the switch. At, Maisie I mean, doesn't get to play it by herself. She at, has to play it when we're not for nothing. Can't she just unplug it and? And he can't play yeah, it. No, that I, wasn't well, the issue, Sam. That's not the. He, you're not. You're, you're Max wrong. woke up. He's like, "Can I play Wii today?" I'm like, "Yes." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, you see, it wasn't. No, 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 I understand. And then she's like, "Nothing what, to do what with about the rules?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, the thing." <laughs> what about the I, rules? <laughs> <laughs> no, again, Outback, no rules. <laughs> I just, I just said yes to whatever they want. Yeah, uh, I like at that. first. That's my first response. <laughs> then I'm like, "Oh yeah." Then I have to take it away. It was just worse. It is. like, I'm like, oh, that bitch. But you know, you know, butthole mouth. No. <laughs> Kids, you can't say butthole mouth. Yeah, I know your mom doesn't want you to play this way, but she's a real butthole mouth, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we love you, Daddy. Yeah, I know why you're the favorite, man. Come <laughs> visit me in my apartment. I can have Primus books. <laughs> 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 they would have no idea who Primus is, by the way. <laughs> Drunky the bear I, against five midget bears. Oh, don't play that <laughs> don't, one. Don't that was, that was, that was, uh, what that was a different time. Uh, okay. Some of the things I said in these YouTube videos mm-hmm. have mm-hmm. different time. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I'm crying. 2008. I, okay, <laughs> I have a uh, I have a new thing that I'm going to start doing on Fridays. It's going to be voicemail of the week and caller of the week. All right. Concrete Mike, you win because you had just asked what's worse than... Well, this is worse. Any, uh-huh. Well, this is worse than anything. And the fact that Concrete Mike can be this matter of fact about things mm. makes him our caller of the week. Team D Media Crew, how's everybody doing? It's Concrete Mike. Uh, towards the end of the Friday show, there was a comment you were seeing. <laughs> Butler doesn't get blowjobs. Tom would do anything to get one. Uh, grossest thing I've ever had happen while I was having sex was I had a girlfriend, she was frogging me, we were doing anal. And oh. when she pulled out, or when I... W- Hold on. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's so that's mad. Called, that's called toadin', by the way, that's not frogging. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about Tony. Fuck you! You're fired. You got. Uh, you can't talk about Tony. Okay, uh, got my boss in the trunk. <laughs> 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 we were doing it. Uh, he's so matter of fact. He's a real he's, man. He's, he's a real man. He's my favorite. Guy. He told me he's inhaled so much concrete dust and the chemical. I guess they oh, put this hardener in the chemical. Uh, he's like, he's like, oh, it's not good. It's gonna <laughs> kill me. <laughs> but he doesn't say it like sad. <laughs> No, right. no, he just knows. Matter of fact. He stares right into the Grim Reaper's eyes. Okay, I'll, I'll finish it. Okay, hold on. Okay. <laughs> uh, grossest thing I've ever had happen while I was having sex was I had a girlfriend. She was frogging me. We were doing anal. <laughs> and when she pulled out, or when I woke, pulled off of me, uh, a piece of shit fell out of her ass and dropped <laughs> right on my stomach. I almost fucking puked. It was so gross, man. Oh, uh, God. That's the chance you take when you toad. That was pretty nasty. But, uh, yeah. What are y'all stories? What's the crazy? I like, 
<laughs> I like that he's grossed out by it, but he put his dick in there. Yeah. What do you think's in there? <laughs> you don't think about it. He, he, he's the best caller. <laughs> he's my favorite caller. <laughs> he leaves a lot of voicemails on the regular line, the one eight four four tom and dan Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, T-O-M-N-D-A-N. Yeah. Yeah. And he leaves them on there, and I haven't been going through them. And I went through them, and my God, the things this man has seen. <laughs> way, it's off the fucking charts. By the way, I'd swat it off before the, she saw it to my God. Right, you don't want to embarrass her. I wouldn't want to embarrass her. Like oh, I would. I'd be like, yeah! <laughs> like, no. Sorry, like a spider, yeah. No, no. Because what are you, that's embarrassing. Uh, no shit. <laughs> no, no shit. No, it is shit. It's not no shit. But also, it is, but like Samantha said, yeah. what, has, what do you expect? It's, yeah. uh, you There's know. shit in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's gonna come out when, uh, when you're. It's kind of like being a, uh, a, you know, da- a daughter dad. Like a daughter dad. Like once it, now that like I had a relationship with vaginas before I had a daughter, right? Yeah, yeah. But my relationship with vaginas now is a completely different. There's different relationships I have now. I've seen a lot more. <laughs> I've seen a lot more yeah, things, yeah, 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 and, right. uh, and I don't have the same. This sounds fucked up, but it's true. I just don't have the same relationship with any vagina now that yeah, I yeah. did before. I saw things come out of the vagina. And I saw poop in the vagina. Like, yeah, 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 it's yeah. just I have a different relationship mm-hmm. now. I've yeah. seen war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. fought. <laughs> oh. And when I came back, people asked, I was like, Dan's awfully quiet. Well, he's seen some things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I do want to gift one of my pizza parties to Bofa in the chat because he said that's called a toadstool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my, my God. God. It's pretty fucking funny. Yeah, you know, oh, you're going to ooh for that? <laughs> when you, uh, yeah, oh, man, I'm ooing the whole thing. <laughs> okay. You stick your hand in the uh, bat house. Uh, the yeah, get flag. one. The uh, grossest thing I've ever had happen while I was having sex was I had a girlfriend. She was frogging me. We were doing anal. <laughs> Just pull that clip. We were doing anal. Period. Just inflict <laughs> right. anal. Yeah, the best. that's the funniest part. <laughs> we're frogging me. We we're doing anal. <laughs> well, you gotta let you know. Setting him up. Instead of like you know, an Obama. Sounds, <laughs> no, he sounds, Hello? This is Obama. This is the way Obama talk. It's it's a, like that. Matter of fact. We're doing anal. I don't know. Frogging me. We were doing anal. Also, a uh, my guilt, my guilt. an aggressive uh, frog for anal, right? Yeah, yeah I, anal is supposed to be a uh, 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 no, that's a, yeah, like, yeah. supposed to be a greasy. Uh, that's a lube. Dump, that's a lube man's game, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not supposed to frog and anal. Is that's an advanced move? He's You're not just a, gonna yeah. have bigger girls aren't gonna be doing that. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Meemaws aren't gonna be doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, hats off to you, Congress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Yeah. I guess something tells me that she has a constant problem with poop falling out of her butt. She's uh, fr- <laughs> she's toting yeah. a lot. Uh, uh, that's yeah. where you, that's where you mm. messed up. You can't toad. Or it's gonna fall out. Oh, yeah. Gravity. Uh, yeah. Oh, just uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Just, oh just take it regular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, take I mean, it regular. <laughs> why? You know. I mean, keep it down. Yeah. Not. I yeah. mean, you want yeah. her in a position of right. hold up, not hold down. Correct. Right? Okay. Um, uh, email saying we're going to cleanse the palate. We're going to do a shot here. I'm going to send them in the taste out of my mouth. This will cleanse the palate. Leaving in till flaccid. <laughs> no. So I kind of agree with Butler leaving it in till it's soft. I don't know about all guys. but What? That's what you do? So you come in we your talked wife about this. Yeah, no. yeah. with a condom and then you leave it <laughs> no, no, until no, no. then you pull your dick out and then the condom stays in. <laughs> oh, that happens, by the way. So That's you should be careful. Sock, yeah. yeah, it does happen. That shit will get lost <laughs> the, the in The wet sock. No, the lost sock. Yeah. The lost. Oh, oh my on. God. No. (laughs) I don't know about all guys, but when getting a mouth jibber, my girlfriend keeps on going after completion like she's starving for more and gives me such an odd sensation I have to make her stop. I don't get that. Well, it's kind of like that for me. I'm assuming he meant pulling out too early, but he said puking out too early. I like to leave it in as long as possible to avoid the sensitive feeling I can't stand, but really depends on the situation, too. Sometimes we go so hard, I feel like my heart's going to explode, <laughs> and that's usually when I'm on top or behind. A lot of times we finish her on top, and I don't mind hanging in there because she's such a sex monster. She'll keep working it even till it's full-on retreat mode and can still get off. No, I, no, I don't I, get anything. I, I, I mean, oh look, God, I, I've so gotten some things. And humble I've, brag there. I've, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've made some statements, and you yeah. guys know that I'm probably luckier than most. Starving for more? I don't yeah. even know what that means. I mean, it's not like, you know, like once I'm like, oh, I'm coming, and my wife's like, yeah, that's, I, I mean, like, as soon as I say that, that's why I don't say that anymore. Yeah, I just yeah. got to let it happen. If I say that, then my wife's immediately in there spitting in the toilet, brushing yeah. her teeth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris was like uh, Ed Cookie Jarvis <laughs> when uh, the alarm goes off and the uh, contest is over. <laughs> yeah. Push the plate away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't want to look at a hot dog for uh, uh, no. the next week. No, and if I'm coming <laughs> and my wife, sometimes my wife will get up and go to the bathroom and I'm like, I'm still coming. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's just the prostate. Uh, it's fading out. <laughs> well, you, a little bit of that. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, let me see. Get you a voicemail here. I will find one. Um, let's see. We went gross. D- we went double gross. Yeah, let's yeah. let's, uh, get, yeah, let's something try, else. Yeah, cleanse a palate. Something. Oh, hold on. This one's got to be open a special way. Let's try it mm. like this because your grill has been a big topic. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Big Rick. Happy Thursday, and I uh, hope you guys stay dry. Anyway, um, so I'm listening to Tom talk about the grill and how his outdoor kitchen has the wrong size line for uh, for the propane to go through to actually hit up the burners. Well, while I'm uh, listening to him talk about that, I am reminiscing of my teenage years when my friends and I used to go swimming in my backyard and, uh, and do some grill outs and whatnot throughout the summer. And um, my best friend at the time, myself, were hanging out one day at the pool, and uh, we were like, oh, let's cook some burgers. So we uh, decided to cook some burgers, and I'm sitting there, you know, kind of being a little apprehensive of pushing the button while I've got the uh, propane on because of the fact that we would get the, like, explosion or the gas ball or whatever it was because of whatever reason. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But... Um, you know, if we let the, the grill open, it would take too long, and then gas would fill the air, and then you'd just get, like, an explosion cloud that just, like, would set fire to everything around you at, like, eye level, and your eyebrows would be singed off. And if we did what the manufacturer said, which was to leave the lid sh- and then push the button, it would result in an explosion as well. So here I am. Telling my friend, you know, like, dude, you got to be careful with that grill, man. Cause he, he decided, you know, oh, I'm big and I'm tough, brr, 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 you know, like, I can do this and quit being such a pussy. Brr, brr, brr. So um, <coughs> he goes through and leaves the grill shut, lets the propane go for like a good, like, five Mississippis before he decides to push the little ignited ignition button. And then he hits it. And the freaking grill ends up like top flying backwards as hard as it can, hits the back side of the grill, freaking ends up knocking the grill kind of like uh, back a little bit, but then kind of straightens out. And my friend jumped like a cat as high as he could in the air and uh, foot fell into my pool. And uh, that was uh, that was awesome. Anyway. Uh, Big Rick, your tall tales. <laughs> Every time you called the show, uh, you you lie to us. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, have you ever had? Well, that that one, that one time my grill in the old heroin oh, alley house with the wizard. Yeah, the uh, and I've never heard of anybody like since I told the story. Like no one said like, hey, that happened to me too. So uh, seemingly this is the only time this and, ever happened. to And they sell all the parts, you know, like the gas grill, the regulators that you use, and all that stuff. Yeah. Like it's so so simplistic. Yeah, and and also like dummy proof and made to, for this not to happen. But yeah, it's tried and true. It's just very very old technology. But, but we had this shitty old Walmart grill that was like seventy nine bucks. It was like just the standard Those were great Weber little grills, like tiny. Probably two- wasn't a Weber for seventy nine. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, charbroil yeah. yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, charbroil. Everybody had the tiny charbroil. Yeah. I think that was like everybody's first grill. And we literally we I turned it on and it turned on fine. And then we went inside to get the burgers or whatever. And then like inside the the cheap block house that we that were renting, like the window was like it was in front of the sink, and then you could see the grill outside. Sure. So then all of a sudden we heard like, and then like a, and then we looked up and there's fire like hitting the side <laughs> of the house, coming like over through the window. So I was like, what the fuck? And then I ran outside to open the the back door, and somehow like fire was shooting out of the propane tank like a blowtorch, torching the side of the house, and then going up the side yeah. through the window. And it don't just do that till it extinguishes itself, right? I well, it runs out of gas. I thought. Yeah. In my mind, it was going to explode. Yeah, I would think that too. But I don't, a I, hole in the house, but I don't think it will I either. I don't think yeah. it does that. 
that. And uh, so I immediately ran inside and screamed to everybody to get down because I thought I was going to blow. Get down. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to scream that. Everybody get down. And then we laid in the, on the floor for like uh, two Mississippis until I realized like, oh shit, it's just going to burn the fucking house down. Like it's a blow yeah, torch in the house. We're laying on the floor just waiting to be burned alive. <laughs> So then, great uh, idea. I, I was like, I gotta get the fire extinguisher from my stand-up jet ski in the garage. Uh, so I run inside. I unscrew the back cap, and uh, because it, it, it's basically on one side of the uh, tray of yeah, the stand-up jet yeah. ski, I pull out this old-ass fire extinguisher. I run around the outside of the house to the back. It's still blow torching the side of the house, and, like it blew toward like a giant black, it, like you know the the plastic. Uh, casing that your wires go in when uh, for your uh, home line. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, like it's on the side of the house. It'll be like a little junction box. Yeah, or a little something. junction yeah. box for a home line. It it melted that to nothing, mm. and uh, so I ran out there and I sprayed it with the with the uh, fire And that's like dry chemical, right? Yeah, fully expecting it to blow up me in half at any time because I'm watching the fire. We're this brave one inch if you're, <laughs> doing it, you know, like so it turned off the fire, um, which it turned off the first time and then i saw like just liquid propane like spraying out with gas and then the 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 plastic on the outside of the grill was still on fire so then it ignited again where it was like and and then i sprayed it uh and sprayed it all and then it still was coming out but it melted the uh the fucking valve open oh wow. like uh, it was and so i i wheeled it to the the end of my uh my yard in the bushes and just pushed it over the bushes so that it would just empty and out and just went about a little <laughs> <laughs> and i was like that's crazy then the landlord you guys want to go uh, you guys want to order pizza i like how common noodles <laughs> he's like, just fire is burning his we, house down he's like ah it's fine when we left that house i thought i was going to get Charge a shit ton from the fucking owner. It was like Watson Realty. Uh, that, oh like, uh, yeah. And then all they did is like thirty dollar cleaning fee for this mysterious mildew. <laughs> <laughs> it was wow. a mark. Yeah. And they didn't know. Well, nobody wants to do their job. They're like, what is it, black? That's mold. Pen over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Like, get That's somebody cheap, in there. Man. They, uh, they didn't notice that I burned their whole junction box and oh, melted yeah. that. Yeah. But, uh, I, I broke one. Uh, the house I broke termites. one window, replaced it with plexiglass. They said it wasn't good enough. It needed oh, yeah, real yeah. glass. And oh, they, yeah. oh, they fucked my ass so bad. Uh, so, yeah. so bad. You want to take a little break? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a little bit. Let's do the shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do our shot. Um, Butler, let me give it? you. Sugar Works, uh, Shark Bite. Yeah. yeah. Sugar Wake. Cinnamony. All right, Butler, here you go, buddy. All right. All right, we got sharks to the left, sharks to the right. Set up my wife's new computer, so I'm getting a jibber tonight. Rock and roll 902 window. All right. All right. <laughs> jibber time. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's easy. How's that? That tastes like real cinnamon. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, they actually use real cinnamon in their whole process. There's a yeah. little bit of sediment, and uh, yeah, and the that, bottle is delicious. That's what you get with that uh, small distillery. Uh, yeah. They can use. Uh, they don't have to. Syrupy. They don't have to filter no. out the sediment. Okay. You don't get free that time. has that, that. That doesn't have the weird sweet. Right. It is sweet, but it doesn't have the weird that sugar like, syrupy crap. Yeah. That yeah. like Sam's right. That tastes that's legit. real cinnamon. That's right. also spicier. Yeah. Is it burning your tongue up? Oh, it, it stung yeah. my tongue hole for oh, sure. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that stung is, your tongue hole. Out of all the cinnamon whiskeys, that one to me tastes most like a natural product. Right. Not like a, hey, drink this, uh, uh, drink a red hot candy. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that Farrapan red hot candy taste. Yeah, I hate that taste. Yeah, yeah. It's like a melted red hot with alcohol. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's pure cinnamon. That's yeah. like grown up uh, cinnamon whiskey. That's good. All right. Well, hats off, Sugar Works. That's delicious. All right. Now we'll take our break. We've played these guys before. The name of the band is Yawn Mower. Um, you've heard of Ghost Riding the Whip. Well, this song's called Ghost Riding the Ark. We'll be back with more A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan right after this. Have you ever thought about a place real hard and ended up in the place you were thinking about? I know you want some fun. Yeah. I know you do, mm-hmm. because there's not a lot of fun going on right now. Yeah. But if you go to our friends at Summit of Power Sports, get some two-wheeled fun, maybe some really fast uh, four-wheeled side-by-side fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe some uh, jet ski fun. Yeah, some ATV fun, yeah. some dirt bike fun, some scooter fun. I got dirt bike fever right now. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. tell my wife. <laughs> what's uh, what's cool about everything that Seminole Power Sports sells 
is, uh, you know, you can get out in your uh, local national forest or uh, woods uh, that you know there's a lot of places to ride in Florida. Or if you're me, maybe you just want to drive around Lake Baldwin on your scooter. I I have a 2017 Honda Ruckus that I absolutely love. Someone of Power Sports did me, right? And this is before they were even a client of ours. This is before they were even like traditionally working. This is what started with with the relationship. Yeah, they're uh, like, oh, you guys are into these sort of things. Oh, yeah, and so are our listeners. So check out Seminole Power Sports yeah. and just go by there. The the amount of gear that they have, the Yeti coolers that they have, the helmets, the riding uh, jackets and gloves, yeah. everything you would need. There's two locations. There's Seminole Power Sports right there in Sanford off Reinhardt Road. Uh, they've got a gigantic showroom. Then there's their Seminole Power Sports North location. Yeah. You could find that at SeminolePowerSportsNorth.com. That's in Eustis. they got Suzuki brand, yeah, but yeah. all the other brands that Seminole has. Uh, I just use their service department again uh, to fix a little problem with my sister's four-wheeler. is great. Go. Their service department's great. Uh, they sell uh, generators, Yeti coolers, a bunch of accessories. So go by there. Just let them know that... Uh, you know, that you heard it from uh, us. And if you get a cool toy, send us a picture of it. We'll uh, we'll send you a little something as a, a gift for using one of our clients. I love it. And uh, and I want to ride whatever you got. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. Yeah. It's selfish. Yeah. I mean, it's hey, all selfish. They yeah. are number one with the fast fun. That's Seminole Power Sports. When stuff like this happens, you know, like when you've got, you know, the world, uh, or namely our nation, uh, figuring their way, you get really creative and uh, really passionate punk rock music. You get a lot of really passionate and crazy hip hop music. Run the Jewels album. Run the Jewels yeah. album is like this. So yeah, um, but that's uh, that's Bob Mould. Um, I don't know if you know who that is. Like Husker Du, mm-hmm. uh, Sugar. Um, I mean, rock and roll royalty, but hey, welcome back yeah. to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. All right, um, we. I. It's funny we we did the whole like dump them out thing, and then we in, we enjoyed it. I have a um, an intro that I'm working on. It's not done yet, but uh, we've been missing it. Like I think like the last two shows, we haven't even done it. Yeah, yeah. Because we get on these rolls and uh, and we do it. So you guys want to do some dump them out? Yeah, now? let's do it. Oh, it's, but we need a dump them out intro. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I have one. It's almost ready. It's just like I'm not quite mm, okay. done with it yet. By the way, the butthole mouth uh, thing is called a rock neem. Yeah. Uh, N e m. Yeah, like uh, an an anemone, but they call them rock nims or yeah, rock, rock nims. Oh yeah. yeah, maybe it's a nim. Yeah, rock nim. Yeah. Is it one e or two? Because you kind just of stuttered. N e m. Just N e m. N e m. It's just rock short, neem. like for anemone. Yeah. Nim. So yeah. yeah, I think it's yeah. nim. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. All right, know. dump them out is basically just to exp- explain it to you guys that don't know what it is. It's where we take uh, all of the stuff that we've been compiling over weeks and the stuff that we don't use, and we kind of go through it and just see where our opinions fall. So mm. Sam, I'll kind of let you do the honors of uh, of driving the boat. Mm. Um, we did Tom at the dentist. What's next? Fish death. Oh, uh, God damn We it. lost a couple good ones. Yeah. Um, we lost... Well, uh, there's there's something... There's a bit of a story here. We lost the one little fish. Here, I'll put it on fish can. Two what? tiny blue ones. Yeah. The, I don't even know what those are. <sighs> oh, yeah. His I, name was Robert Paulson. <laughs> yeah, we Robert, had a... F- I, yeah. I, I st- we stuck did you my post that in. video? Something it, happened it, with it. It's the video. Like, I shot it like a oh, pop-up. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's all fucked up. Um... So I stuck my hand in there. We found there was a little dead guy, a little blue fish. It started with six um, when Top Shelf, uh, you know, gave us their first uh, round of fish. Now, yeah. these round of fish is actually tester fish to see if the tank can sustain life. So, like mm. the Chernobyl sent in workers, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. these Just are like Chernobyl that. workers. So. Yeah, and Sean from Top Shelf told us like last time he was here, we had all the fish still were living, and he's like, "Wow, he's like, you guys might." Well, be- no, that's not exactly oh. exactly mm. accurate. Mm. We. Had one that we couldn't account for. Yeah, yeah. He was already dead. We just didn't know it. We had one that <laughs> because was... Because you were saying, like, we had six of these, and I was like, I don't know. I, I don't love these fish. They're my friends. <laughs> these fish are yeah. my friends. They're my buddies. Every morning when yeah. I walk in here, I say, hello, guys. Yeah. Like, I do the whole thing. I'm like, hey, guy. Mm. You know, and I walk over to them. I'm, like, seeing them. And then they come up. And then, like, we talk. And I'm like, uh, hey, piss face. Uh, hey, Epstein. You know, mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, guy. Mm-hmm. You know, we had, uh, so we had 
had five of those little little blue fish. Six, I think. Yeah. Well, we had six, yeah. but I mean, like when Stephen was here, oh yeah, Scuba yeah. Steve, there were five, and he's like, "Oh, you guys have done good." Well, then yesterday it actually happened when your sons were here. Ah, uh, then one of them died. Well, it well, didn't maybe die. your son killed him. No, it tapping did. on the goddamn glass. It didn't die. It just like it was. It, and Butler saw this firsthand. It was like burying itself in the sand. Oh, oh. well, it looked like he had kind of like yeah, got himself stuck under a rock. His gills were still moving, and there was a slight flutter to his fins. But right. it was you could see life. You could have helped him. Well, My no, God, not it's, at all. That's its nature. It's you like let a, him, uh, let yeah, him go. it's like an old dog, and they'll walk off into the woods to yeah. die because they don't want to hinder. That's what I think. What people are doing when they get lost walking. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. I think they just leave him alone. He's going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let <laughs> the man have some dignity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He wants to die alone in the woods. Yeah, which is wearing his jogging gear. Wearing his jogging gear, hammering the button on his jitter. Bug, but it's he didn't charge it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's useless. And he's so, gonna rot there in the leaf pile. I stuck my hand in there and I plucked the, the one yeah. out, and then we flushed it. And then, uh, but Daniel, after that, he's like, I could have sworn there yeah. were six in here, and now there's four. Yeah, but you guys don't listen to anything no, no. I fucking don't say. Believe you think I'm crazy? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah sure, oh, I sure we had six of them. Hey, a uh, fucking weirdo this thinks guy's we had a math six. guy now. Hey, a fucking yeah. weirdo's over there talking to his fish. He thinks we had six of them. He's a yeah. fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. So I was here uh, editing video and getting out some videos for YouTube. Tom and Dan live. Just search for it, like and subscribe. And I look up, I can put the picture on the website. I'll send it to Tony. It's a graphic photo <laughs> of our, I don't even know if he had a name, but I, I don't even know if you guys can really see this, but you'll see it's our, is it the pump? It's the, what creates the current. It's a tiny underwater it's like a fan. fan. Yeah. yeah. So the it, picture I'm showing you right now. This, you sent this and I, my, my, uh, my eyes started uh, tearing up a little bit. It's a, it's a, it's a this was already after we flushed Robert Paulson. So you can see him. So you can see that the little fish's head is sticking out. Ah. Uh-huh. Of there, which Sucked is weird. His tail right in, well, but it doesn't fan. suck from That's the right, front. It does, yeah, well, it's it got to pull from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, but it pulls from the back and uh, near the glass. So I don't even know how this happened. I I contend that Robert Paulson was their mate, okay. and they decided they were going to uh, go ahead and Romeo and Juliet it. Thelma and, and Louise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, back right into that fan. Yeah. You know how hard they had to swim backwards to go into that fan well, tail first? There's a story about <laughs> What was dedication no, there, no, man? No, they're like real you, tired. No, they got we, stuck over okay, there. Japanese a, businessman fan. Okay, there is a story <laughs> here. Hold on a second. There's huh. a story here, because like what you saw in the photo is not... that. That's before I had breached the tank. Okay, all right. So I'm here, and you know I'm uh, I'm no stranger to uh, a white claw beverage. Yeah. yeah. So uh, at the end of the day, I'm editing, and all I have to do is really monitor this computer while it's pumping out the video. It has a tendency to be wonky, and it will shut itself down and fuck us all up. Ah. So that's why I monitor it. In a better world, I would just set it, forget it, like the Showtime rotisserie, walk out of here, no big deal. So I'm monitoring it, pumping out the video, and everything's going well. And I'm like, I could have sworn there's a fucking fish in here. There's a little. So I start really peeking. Then I see him. I see him sticking out, and I'm like, God damn it, he's dead. You know, so there's another one. So I'm looking at him, and he's fully whole. Fully whole. Okay. His butt, it's it's almost as if he where he got stuck was a perfect one half. Uh like he's it's one half out, one half in. It's perfectly balanced. Okay. All right. At this point. But I know I gotta get him out because Steven's been telling it, you know, and other people have said, Hey, if he's diseased or if he had a problem, you don't want the other fish to get that. Yeah. Plus I start thinking in my paranoia head that if he is diseased, he's in the pump and now we're just blowing disease yeah. all over the tank. Aww. So I'm like, I gotta get him out of there. So Sean, our tech from Jamaica, he yeah. said he put the top on the tank because he's like, in my opinion, the best fish are the ones that jump. And I'm yeah. like, look, I'm going to trust this guy. He's from the fucking Caribbean. He's a Caribbean fish. Yeah, yeah. You know, like this guy's, and he's, and he's a, been doing what, 20 years? 25 years. Yeah. 25 years he's he knows been in the fish. He knows what the yeah. hell he's talking about. And he's about. young as fuck. Or black don't crack. Something. Yeah. It's just that yeah. guy looks, he, he's like, you've been doing this 25 years. You're 13 years old. <laughs> like, it's insane. Uh, he looks very young. He looks very young, but he's not apparently. So anyway, um, I I see I know I got to get the fish out so I reach in there hands yeah mm-hmm. I take my watch off yeah. I go right hand but I'm too tiny 
So mm-hmm. I stack up some magazines. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, well, what do you want me to do, Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just fucking, it's science. It's just, <laughs> I got nothing. Also, when Tom uh, fished out Robert Paulson, he was standing on top of a chair and leaning over that damn aquarium. Yeah, almost, uh, broke it. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, this is, it's not going to yeah. be the shower glass that gets him. He's going to fall right through yeah. this fucking aquarium that's how the guy, him in half. That's how the guy dies in Ghost, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. So I stand on some, like, books, I, like a book and some magazines on there, and I stand over there, and I, I take the lid and I just kind of maneuver it over just enough for my hand because I'm afraid of the fish jumping out. Uh So when I reach in there and I grab this little fish, he's stuck good, good, good. Uh Like he's in there and I'm squishing him and I feel one of his eyeballs is gone and I can feel the socket with my Uh fingers because I'm hypersensitive. That's why I cry at shit. I'm just gripping spot. Yeah, it's like me, any pain in my body, I can feel it. Like a thousand times, like it, like if yeah. I have a hangnail, I can be asleep and be like, I have a hangnail. Like I can feel that yeah, shit. Yeah. So I can feel his eye socket where the eye's missing, and oh I can my see. God. It, and I'm wiggling him just. And now at this point, I'm wiggling him back and forth to try and get him out. Well, the other fish, they don't like you in no. the tank, and we're gonna have to talk to Stephen about that. I want to know the science behind, like, because they uh-huh. start like going into like a, a little bit of like a defense posture, right? Mm. They're like, get the hell out of here. So I'm wiggle, 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 and I'm like, I, I'm just gonna wiggle him out. I wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. He. He dis he cuts and it like it just yeah, breaks. breaks and he ass. breaks, oh. and the, his ass goes into the fan mm. while I pull him out, and then it cuts him into million little tiny pieces and blows his guts like <laughs> all over my arm, and then the fish start biting my arm <laughs> because eat. the uh, the dead fish is all over me, so oh. they're attacking me, and I'm like yeah, yeah! <laughs> and I'm screaming, so I get it. Uh, I get is this him. on our security cam footage? <laughs> Probably because we should pull that. Probably I can try, and then I. Have have to run and put him in the toilet oh. and then I seal everything up but then I'm afraid that while well, the time I put him in the toilet maybe somebody jumped out right I stink because mm. like dead fish do not necessarily smell good yeah, yeah. it was just an ordeal mm. uh, did they did they eat the rest of uh, yeah, like, the I think that maybe will be just uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they ate him good they uh, ate him uh, they yeah. ate him good yeah, yeah that's a circle of life uh, it is so uh, so yeah so mm. we've lost two fish so far yeah yeah uh, but, but that's good apparently yeah, not bad that, not bad at all that means uh, things are going right. I don't um, know. I don't know if they should be dying. <laughs> yeah, that's, how, that's how mad cows start. Right. The little feed. ones, they're sensitive, uh, you know. Are you yeah. talking about Dan or the fish? <laughs> <laughs> All, <laughs> Both. Yeah. Both, maybe. All yeah, little yeah. things are sensitive. Yeah. 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 Who would know that uh, I'd be fishing one of my own fish kind out of there? And little then... and extremely big. Then you got the gentle giant yeah. that cries. Uh, and you're like, why are you so uh, yeah, yeah. sensitive, giant? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't never should had be... a real bed before. <laughs> like that. Yeah, you got that. be <laughs> tough. Yeah. What are you doing? Get a hold of yourself. All right. What else we got here? Uh, oh, we got this story. The Bufo Toad Ritual. Oh, oh, with the porn star guy? Yeah, I brought this up because you and what I both... It? Somebody said this happened in 2019, but uh, it was reported in June 4th of 2020. Um, a Spanish porn star is being investigated for manslaughter after a man died from inhaling toad venom vapor in his house. Nacho Vidal, which uh-huh. I only knew because when I met Tom, he gave me the copy of Shane's World. I had no idea what Shane's World was. Then I started discovering the Shane's World of porn, and Nacho Vidal is in, like, 90% of yeah, the yeah. really good... Like college invasion yeah. video. And he has uh, a big mega dick. Like yeah. a huge mega dick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know... No, anybody know Nacho Vidal? Yeah, yeah. We've talked about yeah, him on the we've show. we've talked about him before. It says, Nacho Vidal, 46, was named as a suspect after fashion photographer Jose Luis Abad died from inf- inhaling fumes from a Colorado River toad near Valencia in June 2019. So it did happen in 2019. But just now, I guess... He got arrested. Investigation. Yeah. They have uh, they have arrested him. Vidal, who star- starred in more than six hundred adult films, was arrested on Thursday after Mr. Abad died at his home in the Valencian town of Injurea. Uh, Mr. Abad is believing to have been engaged in a mystic ritual when he inhaled vapor from the psychedelic toad. So, why did they charge? Nacho with manslaughter. They've he, also he arrested two drug. other people. Yeah, they think that he was the one. Um, even though his they're charging lawyer, him with manslaughter. By yeah. the way, it's not straight up murder. Yeah, here I'll continue. A well, little you, I've never. Okay, well, follow me with this. Like, mm-hmm. if if you, like say, say someone ODs at your house, uh, I've never heard of the other person that. Maybe, oh, they like, have tried to charge and have charged drug dealers before. Well, well if they can provide them Brazil with a gun too, though. The, the, is well, if they can provide information that proves that you maybe gave the person the drugs, then that's an accurate charge. Okay. Like, if I'm Toad Man, which, oh, shit, shouldn't say that. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm Toad Man, uh, and I got the Toad. It looked like a Toad. And then, uh, yeah. But then oh, the God. person take uh, the Toad. Yeah, but you, but new? you were the one that had the deadly substance to begin right. with, so you you could get in trouble. What well, well. did Nacho take it? And this guy? Did? Well, I think I, so. I, maybe so. It's a Spanish uh, porn star, Nacho Vidal, 46, is being investigated for manslaughter after fashion photographer Jose Luis Abad died in his home. Uh, it says officers began the investigation after the death of a person during a mystic ritual involving the inhalation of vapors. Uh, uh, from the venom of the Bufo Oliveras toad. At the conclusion of 11th month uh, investigation, hence why it, this happened in 2019, we've been able to establish that an offense of involuntary manslaughter and a public health, health offense had occurred, uh, allegedly committed, by those who organized and presided over the ritual. That's why it's manslaughter. Ah. Because they claimed that Nacho... Porn like star wanted to do this ritual. Exactly. And then, Boom. And then accidentally uh, killed the guy. It. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was acting as a shaman. Uh-huh. He was the one. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh because someone died, but uh, I'm laughing at the fact of like, hey, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> well, uh, going to do this uh, ancient ritual well, that's overseen with by a porn star shaman. Nacho for all the porn <laughs> star. <laughs> uh, he, I, I think it's a good decision. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you thinking? I think it was yeah. like friends of his and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. No, I know. I just um, uh, like I want to do. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. Yeah, ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. Yeah. ayahuasca. But then now I'm kind of scared. Well, I well, don't. Well, there's no need to do that. <sighs> you know, like vomiting with it. I have. I have vomiting. Vomiting. Can you die off yes, of ayahuasca? It has happened. Yeah, I think you can die off a of, uh, like legitimately it happened in, uh, to a ch- uh, ayahuasca church here in Orlando. We well, you can somehow die yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Shitting and pooping yourself a lot. Well, any drug other than, in my opinion, marijuana, I think you can get you can get into a lot of trouble with yeah. it, but you know you could OD. Uh, yeah, this whole like marijuana, no, that's just not going to happen. Yeah. But it, every everything else, sure, I could definitely. And I have friends that have uh, have had that happen. Not not the toad thing. I don't know anything about the fucking toad thing. I, yeah. yeah. That's like unfamiliar. that's not is a the thing. Same, I, is it the same bufo toad that yes. kills your dog? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're just taking a bufo toad, the chemical off the bufo toad. Was, what's weird is mystic ritual involving the inhalation of venomous vapors from the bufo alvarius toad. Well, that's been going on since fucking Beavis and Butthead. You know the joke yeah. of him, well, the him joke, yeah. squeezing the frog and the, yeah, the, the, uh, the poison the, comes out. Yeah, you, you lick the lick frog it. and then you lose it. Interesting. So it's it is a a version of DMT. It says um, the the amphibian releases a venom called. Five Mio DMT, which is known to be a hallucinogenic effects, according to the Addiction Center website. So, huh. I guess it's similar to a, a DMT experience. Yeah, I I've guess, never I guess done so. DMT. Although yeah, well, nowadays, so. can't you just get pure DMT, like I mean, medical can, grade stuff? Uh, not st- easy to get. Instead of messing around, oh, I'm, I'm sure they probably got the extract fr- is in a vial. They're not like getting it from a toad, right? Like, uh, don't know. There's not squeezing a, ton a toad. Of details I, hang out with John Mayer and get some good ass. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't tell you. I uh, I don't know. I just thought it was weird. It's like uh, a bizarre how, story. It, it is, but it seems like. You know, this isn't the first time or will be the last time that porn stars, namely male hmm. porn stars, get themselves into some sort of like weird situation, whether it's killing your roommate with a samurai sword, no, no, no. whether it's uh, like John Holmes was involved in. What was that that huge murder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget. Well, they, they did a movie years ago. It's just you're not dealing with the, the best of society. Well, there's a disproportionate amount of maybe... Uh, like chemical imbalance, uh, mental illness in that uh, world that yeah, 100%. Uh, maybe contributes to bad decision making and uh, other <laughs> other poor uh, things they get themselves involved in. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, by the way, I posted this in the chat. But uh, according to his website, he's been in at least ten thousand scenes yeah. in a porn career spanning twenty six years. Yeah. No, I mean he was. You know, he oh, is yeah. a he's a great coxman. I mean, that guy has uh, got a beautiful <laughs> penis, and he knows mm. how to what to do with it. Yeah. Um, and if you go to jail, like they people recognize you in jail, right? As well, porno, porno guys. Yeah, 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 that's a that's like target rich <laughs> environment. What is know? the average like lifespan? I mean, not lifespan, but like career length for a male porn star, like twenty. Typically, like years, an NFL, years, like, years, like an time. NFL fucking time. Not like a running back, but more like a receiver. Uh, okay. Oh no, I would say more like a place kicker. Yeah. 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 Long, you can yeah, go you're right. You can go forever. He can still be doing it right now. I guess I look at Ron. Jeremy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, yeah is he still fucking? Rod uh, Jeremy? Well, yeah. I mean, 
Ron yeah. Jeremy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah? He, but he yeah. can't get a real hard on. He has to squish the base of it. <laughs> like in 2020. To squeeze the blood yeah. into the top of it. Yeah. And then I've huh. seen him, he's fucking these girls, and like he has it's to gimmicky. hold his dick. He uh. looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> always look disgusting. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Well, young, 70s young. Young, young, yeah, uh, yeah. young Ron Jeremy Ron just Jeremy. looked like a, a young uh, Italian stud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like he wasn't A little creepy, but not, yeah, he's good looking. He kind of looked like my dad. He looked like Tony Soprano fucking somebody. No, no, no. No, I disagree. He he's still no, yeah. not attractive. I mean, no, well, yeah. you like the smooth Nordic boys, uh, like uh, like your husband. Like Ron is the exact <laughs> opposite Nordic. of like your your uh, husband looks like he could like come off some sort of. Sweet- he's got the catfish eye thing where his eyes are too far apart from each other. Mm, that's like yeah. Britney Spears. That's, that's, that's called fetal alcohol syndrome. That's a new thing, right? Like when he was young. I mean, now like I'm he, looking at a young picture of him. Uh, like yes, he's fit, but he's not an attra- like his face is not attractive. Yeah, he was like fit and but hairy. Yeah, he is very. Hairy. That was like mm. a thing. Yeah, yeah, you know, like and gir- some girls. Like really like that. Like Tom Se- Tom Selleck was extremely hairy, and they loved his hairy chest and mustache. You yeah. know, now, does anybody like that anymore? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, well, a lot of people. Yeah. Do. Some like, girls like girls like uh, yeah. hairy chest. Some girls like. Yeah, hairy yeah. Chest. Jen hates it if I shave my chest. <laughs> not really, she likes that. Yeah. Well, she's not made it. Well, if you shave it, it just gets spiky and it's right. it's, it's not mm. comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Andrea hates it when I shave my genitals. No, really. So I have this ginormous bush, <laughs> and then for sex, I have to actually use some like. Um, God damn it! What, what? What do you mean? God damn it! I have to actually use some like uh, scrunchies and stuff no. to put my hair up <laughs> to get in there. <laughs> it's on. hard. Come on. I got to use a what are those? Like, the clamps. Well, there's banana clamp. Clamp. Hair. Clamp. A banana clamp. Yeah. Banana clamp. What's uh, COVID priorities? I was just saying since COVID, it's funny because like everybody likes to see like uh, COVID bad, terrible. It's like it's changed uh, who mm. we are. This is uh, I can't take it anymore. This kind of stuff. Mm. But like a, I was joking with my wife about trying to find the silver lining. And the only thing I could come up with was the fact that I have actually I think I almost got my pri- priorities back in straight like straight. OK. You know, like for me, it was mm. like. Staying inside with my family made me understand that they are the absolute most important thing, not work or what anybody else yeah, thinks. Yeah, or you, yeah, know, you know what I mean? Like so, yeah, yeah. I I'd thrown that like you know I just throw ideas in my phone, mm-hmm. and I was just like, well, this is a good thing because like, you know, yeah. like it, there are a lot more people spending more time with their families, and maybe that uh, can you know, like you said, if there's any silver lining, it's like there's that at least. You you have to look at some uh, optimistic uh, things, uh, not all negative all the time. Yeah. You, you live it may like not that. be everybody's scenario, but I would say it almost bettered my relationship with my wife. I mean, we actually, I mean, we, we fussed over some silly shit, but we actually worked through stuff and talked through stuff. We were actually in each other's face a little bit more, so we kind of had to deal with it a little yeah, bit better. Yeah. yeah. They are forced. Uh, I've actually got to spend more time with my husband, and I yeah. love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's good. You not, know, not as busy on the weekends or after work. Like, we can actually spend some time together. Well, like, Although we're working most of the time. Like, what but. you and I were talking about walking back from Publix, we were talking about how, you know, like, we went from, and this is why where I think everybody got fucked up, we went from, like, having the entire year planned out. Right. Everything we were doing, every vacation and every uh, weekend was, like, BDM event, regular oh, event, beer event, fest, yeah. everything. everything. It's funny, was, because it was the first year we've ever, yeah. like, uh, planned out early, like, all right. I had a whole list yeah. going on, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, just rip this I out I mean, now. we were, just so you guys nothing. know, we were reaching out and booking bands for events that were, like, for almost, beer fest. A beer year, fest. almost a year away. Yeah. And I don't even know. That was months ago. Yeah. To, to be honest with you guys, we, the beer oh, fest. Oh, did you call the lady sucks. from uh, the BDM uh, place? Oh, uh, the brand. Felicia. No, I yeah, forgot. Yeah, you gotta call Felicia. Not Spencer. But The lady where we're going to book the BDM event, and she owes us some money. We don't know. I don't think... Uh, <laughs> it's basically I I one know. of those deals Don't say it. No. Well, no, no. They they, they held it for us indefinitely. And, That's uh, what she said. Yeah. I don't know when we're going to oh, do gonna, that. We're going to have that event. Yeah. But, uh, but the, yeah, even with the... Might self- be the four of us just sitting in a <laughs> courtyard uh, having Who knows? a Never cooler of wi- uh, White Claw. Honestly, I want to worry about it. I want to start looking into it. I know no know. one does. Right. No one knows anything, so it's not There's even... Already don't waste a goddamn time. Spikes yeah. in COVID nineteen cases in Florida right now. Anyway, so yeah. Yeah. What, who knows? What we have a thousand cases yesterday. Twelve hundred. Yeah, twelve hundred. By the way, hours. Uh, uh, fuck you, news. I, yeah, I, uh, all news because um, they including it, Seth's. It's so much clickbait. <laughs> yeah, he said fuck all. You. 
literally it is they, it's it's fear porn they did this twice and this is bullshit but uh like literally on memorial day they show a picture of beaches and then they uh, like pack beaches already which by the way for the people that i know that went out to beaches like everybody was still being safe it's not like yeah. they were just like oh packed on top of the coughing on each other like everybody goes out to the beach and like staying away well, from each other. i was it out depends there depends which was, beach you're at you're right New yeah, but, beach was pretty safe i was yeah, out there and so but anyway they show the picture and then they're like spike in covid cases and there's the for literally the first day of Memorial Day, we can be like, wait a minute, you can't show this picture and then say that this is a cause and the spike is the first day. No one would even know. Like you would know two weeks later or a week later or whatever the hell you got symptoms to even go get tested. So you're you're putting that picture to show that oh this is causing a spike which is bullshit because it can't it's the first day yeah. and they do the same thing with the riots too they show all the people like spike in COVID cases yeah but it can't be associated with this if it's the first fucking day like yes. no one would know well, until that's not, a while that's not how the virus works yeah well you it, not the first day you're like oh around people oh instantly I got it and then uh, and then recorded it enough for the news to report on it you're just showing a picture of a packed whatever and then you're saying Spike, so you're, you you're reporting on, on hypotheticals. Yeah, uh, same thing with the goddamn asteroid. Everybody saw that asteroid head towards Earth. It's fucking six million miles away, <laughs> literally. Yeah, they just uh, look at the headline. Yeah, 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 and they're like, "Oh shit!" And then it's like, uh, "Why are you even reporting this?" Like, it's why stupid. do you think my wife resigned yeah, yeah. from her job? Yeah, yeah. You know, it gets uh, tumultuous, and like it was worse for her yeah. because she was having to come up with headlines. They got for people sensational to sensational headlines, but like, but headlines that well, it's not in her body. Like she doesn't have a sensational bone. Like she's sensational, I'll say that. But like she's not the type of person to ever exaggerate things for the sake of making people feel ill. And yeah. when she was writing about like or Casey scared Anthony to click on it, yeah. and shit like that, she was having to come up with like quote creative. No. That's yeah. just not how my wife yeah. works. My yeah. wife is a facts person, a logics person, and the sweetest person you'll ever fucking meet. Yeah. So I'm glad she's out of that business. And, Oof. and by the way, I'm it not, was killing her. I'm not saying that the uh, packed beaches or like the uh, the protests or no, whatever, there can be truth to some. Didn't cause it. But I'm just saying when they reported it, it was the first day, and I was like, wait a minute, you couldn't even get any data. Back, I mean, no one would know if this caused if they infected people for days and days later. So you couldn't report that. Uh, now I'm sure if you read the article, it was like unrelated to this particular picture. But they used that picture to get your yeah, fucking it's, clicks. It's, because uh, people, it's, but it's that's bullshit. all people see, and then they're like, "See, that's causing." No, and they know that it's yeah, bullshit. Course, they right. know that it's. Yeah. It'd be different if they didn't know, and you brought it to their attention, and then they changed their course of action. They don't. Same same thing with they the asteroid. Know it. You show a picture yeah. of a giant asteroid. Asteroid and Earth yes. in the in the background, and you're like asteroid heads towards Earth. It fucking literally, and they all you can do look it. at it. It's either between three million or six million miles away uh, that it's going to pass us. They, by the way, NASA and stuff they track these things. They knew about this for fucking years. Probably they knew that this asteroid. Yeah, it didn't come out of nowhere. Oh <laughs> yeah, they don't. No, they don't know about it, Tom. They just put two guys in space. Right. They don't know about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. But as Juan Christ. mentioned, those four to six million miles away from Earth is pretty fucking close when it comes to. Space. It is. It is. But if you put that in the headline, guess what? Yeah. Everybody be like, oh, like, oh god, okay. we're gonna get. 100%. But you don't. But you don't want to put it in the headline because you, you want stop the click. viewership. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't do that. Because well, if someone, if you put six million, everybody would be like, "Oh, okay, it's fine." Uh, yes, I understand. In the grand scheme of things, that that is technically close to the, the Earth. But you're not going to put that your asteroid head towards Earth, so people click on it and get scared. And by the way, the comments under that uh, in Facebook, no, everybody's like, "Oh shit!" What the, the, don't even write. <laughs> and I'm like, "What? This is it? This is the world we live in." Oh, like, yeah. You see some headline or some shit and. And then you react to it, and then you just go on with your day thinking that... And by the way... People get mad, too, when they they make a comment or post something uh, with inaccurate facts, and then you just follow up with something that is factual. Not, oh, to, ha yeah, not yeah, to have an no, opinion yeah, or anything, yeah, yeah. but just like, hey man, here's the here's no. the actual story. No, right? yeah, yeah. So, you know, people get mad, mad yeah, at shaming even, them. People are mad at facts. Even if you're yeah. cool. Like, even if yeah, you're like, look, exactly. I, I, it's an attack that, I stopped it. doing yes, it. Yes, and it's like, I'm not even trying to I, attack you or give you an opinion that differs from your... I'm literally giving you the updated facts of what you're saying, and you're mad at me. Yeah, but like, I, you should I be stopped, oh, thank you for But right. I stopped caring what they think because it's important. And I'm saying this if you're listening to this right now, yes, I'm saying this to you. It is important to call that bullshit out. Yeah, it's yeah. important to say, 
here are the facts. And yeah, that person might get mad at you. And that might oh, be they, that maybe there's yeah. like a tinge of embarrassment there or something like that. I mean, but but the sooner we all understand that it's okay to be wrong, but we just need to get the actual right. facts. Yeah, like it's I'm, okay to be wrong. I don't know if you guys know <laughs> Everyone's this. Everyone's wrong sometimes. I'm going to let everybody into a little secret that Tom and I have been keeping. A lot of what you hear on this show is he and I being wrong <laughs> yeah, all yeah. the time. All what? The, all yeah. the time. All the time. Yeah. All the time wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have built a show on being wrong. Yeah. Because there's nothing... That could be the slogan, Van Dennis, wrong all the time. Wrong all the <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah. You know why there's nothing wrong with being wrong? Because when you're wrong, normally, and I know that we have because we wouldn't have a decently successful business if we hadn't, you learn from being wrong. Yeah, yeah. Being wrong is learning. Well, if you Ain't nothing wrong with it, being yeah. wrong. Yeah, I, in, in fact, I like it. When <laughs> Wait shit... a minute, hold on. We can't skip past this. <laughs> Butler just said something and then went, <sighs> and leaned back like he just spent the, the best uh, knowledge ever. He did a was... total dad move. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with being wrong. Yeah. That's a good and one. Then, and then, <laughs> then readjusted right himself and right sat back. Down. Not even good. <laughs> <laughs> not, not even a saying. <laughs> hey, <laughs> nothing wrong with being wrong. <laughs> Laws and claws, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no lies with my claws. Yeah. Hashtag mm-hmm. up to nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. We got okay. Lottery tickets. So this is uh, this is just a quick one I threw in my phone. Lottery tickets. Hot take. Uh, if you play the lottery, you're a fucking idiot. Oh. <laughs> you're just a fucking idiot. If you do now, hold on. Let me quantify that. Uh-huh. If you do it daily, like the old man I see at Publix mm. every day, mm-hmm. what are you doing? It's a hobby at that point, right? Yeah. Because no. you know you're losing. You've never no. won. No, no. I've you're never. never gonna well, win. hmm. I think. Uh, between the lottery and scratch offs, I think I can count on two hands how many times I've done either. Yeah, I just, I just it. don't do but it. But this old man so, was holding up the line at Publix for mm. the longest time, just getting his quick picks or whatever, and it just kind of made me chuckle a little bit because I was like, okay, I understand what you're doing. I'm not going to hate on you for doing something you enjoy. Yeah. But at that point, you have to admit to yourself and to everybody else that you're not playing this because you think you're going to win the lottery. You're playing this because, A, it might be something that keeps you alive it's because you're dumb old man. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's... It- it, it, why are you doing? It's a hobby, right? Well, it's addicting. You enjoy I think. it. What are you addicted yeah. to? Losing because that's what you're doing. <laughs> well, it's that. It's like gambling, right? Yeah. It's that feeling of gambling of the chance. It's called the action. Uh, like uh, that. That's what that feeling bef- when you place your bet and then you wait to see what the outcome is. In that period of time, it's it's action that people want. And uh, but the problem is the, the lottery is the dumbest uh, gamble because statistically it is. I mean, so close to zero that it might as well be zero that you win. And I know in people's mind, they say, oh, one person won, so I can win. Nah, right, that, right. That, that's not how statistics work. Uh, and that's, I think, uh, what's the problem with a lot of our society is they don't understand statistics, well, a risk, or anything. It goes anything. back to like our a, original problem that you know, we were talking about earlier this morning. It goes back to just people not being smart, right? Or not being. Yes, a, yeah. Like, Ignorance is the biggest problem. That's in the a world. huge problem. Um, but if you say, well, you only have a point zero 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 one percent chance of winning and then all they're thinking is so you're telling me there's a chance yeah <laughs> so just like no that that number means there's a zero chance and you're like no it means there's a chance because yep. one person's gonna win you're like yep. oh, all right fuck it uh 643 every morning yeah, what is this? I, this has t- been on here a couple weeks yeah 643 every morning i t- uh, butler probably knows this you guys probably don't mm-hmm. 643 every morning i'm deucing it up mm. and it will not never not be that way at 6.43, I wake up having to shit, and I get out of bed and I shit. Hmm. At 6.43... You have a shit clock. Every... More, I'm regular. Some people I am are as, like that. I yeah. am as regular. I mean, it's, it's, supposedly, it's a sign of good health. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, you'd, Your never, body knows. you'd never get me to believe that, considering the fact that I think I'm dying. Like, I mean, it's been really hard for me to do the show today, considering the fact that I have a new illness that I don't want to tell you guys about oh, no. until I've properly web and it. <laughs> um, but like, what if you poo four times before eight? Oh my God! Well, I'm saying it doesn't happen to me. I'm saying it just, uh, he'll he will text me at times and be like fifth shit of the morning. <laughs> oh my fifth? God! Fifth. Sometimes How much fiber do you have? Well, his wife is feeding him these like I think your wife is like 
like X Flex. Yeah, no, but she's feeding like syrup of Epicac and stuff. Like, I've, I've I just realized that, that I've been I've been I've been hoarding my uh, my vitamins that she's been giving me in these little Ziploc bags, and I open my open up my backpack, and there's like fucking fifteen bags of like pills in there that I've just been <laughs> oh, you're in my like backpack a, and not taking them. Yeah, you're like the mental patient that won't take his meds. <laughs> I I put it I I I put it I I I put it out on my tongue. I I I don't want to take it, George. I don't want to take it. You always do that move. I'm the real man. I just take them all at once. You know, they have five, when when the <laughs> nurse days run. when the nurse leaves, you like exaggerate, like spit it out with a lot of force. You're like, <laughs> 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 you, you could have just like <laughs> put it in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. You spit it out so everybody can see it. Uh, yeah, well, that's how you end up getting shock treatment, right? When you uh, yeah, deny yeah. your meds. Let's do this real fast. I didn't want to do this. Okay. We're just we're gonna do. It. We're doing it. Da, 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 da. No, no, no. Who are we calling? What is that? Oh, no. I don't know. We're I, don't, calling it. I don't. I don't think this is a good idea. I like it. Probably not a good We're idea. We're going off script here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going rogue. Sarah Palin. <laughs> <laughs> Where on the old Palin? Oh, uh, she's she's uh, aight. Dylan she did like uh, what was that show? She the Mass Singer. Right? She was just on the Mass Singer singing uh, "Baby Got Back." Oh, was she? Oh. Hey, Mama. It's your son. You're on the show. Oh. <laughs> Hi, son. Hi. How are you? I gotta tell you, I miss you so much. I haven't seen you in like four months. It hadn't been that long. It's been since the first of March, though. Yeah, well, close uh, enough. I miss you all too. I'm telling you. I miss you so much. I just had to uh, call and, and and check my memory again. I do this uh, time and time and time again. I call you and check my memory. Why and did you invent the comment when you would talk about me or Dad having a towel rack? I guess I invented that. And what is what does having a towel rack mean? It meant that you either played with yourself when you were in the tub. Oh God, Mom! <laughs> you asked. And then when you got out for me to dry you, I told you you had a towel rack and you needed not to to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I do it so much. <laughs> Oh it's mama, worse now mama, than before. Mama, mama. now I can't stop. I'm, I'm towel rack for life now, Mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you towel rack. When yeah. You got employees, and they're yeah. like, oh, they got yeah. the towel rack. Yeah, I'm tell- I make everybody. I make, them, <laughs> I make them look at the towel rack. I'm like, look at the towel yeah, rack. We put towels on it. Yeah. <laughs> I make hang your towel up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's towel up. Oh, you're so bad. You're so bad. That's the way your dad was. So bad. Uh-huh. What would dad say about his towel rack? Oh, just the same thing. You all usually it was when you were doing your ratatat things. <laughs> yeah, you all, uh, let me ask you this, Carol. Are oh, you not familiar with ratatat? I uh, my dad and I used to run around naked, holding our penises like machine guns, and we go. Yeah, looking at me and just really, I just turn my back on them. My dad would be like communist ratatat. Um, I uh, I have the towel rack going on in my household uh, with my I'm, boys. I'm towel free in my yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got boys. Yeah, yeah. you do. Oh, they, he's got all the racks. Yeah, yeah. The other the other day, uh, Tommy's like, I think there's a bone in my pee pee. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I think uh, I wrote that down. I'm like, that's our next shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, then and then also, Max likes to hump. They like hump himself to sleep at mm-hmm. night. And did uh, I hump myself to sleep, Mama? I don't know, honey. I don't think so. Okay. And, uh, but you did look at my uh, butt at night for worms, right? <laughs> For pinworms, yeah. 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 You gotta, that was a, you that gotta was a do thing that. In the 80s. I do that to my wife. She falls asleep. I got a flashlight out. I look right at her butt. I'm like, no pinworms on my watch. Yeah, yeah. Is that is that a, is that a like thing has gone by the wayside now? Because like what no doctor, a pinworm. Yeah, I've never no, even heard of that. Nobody has told me to check my son's butt for worms. I can but, check you for worms. No, you but I, I don't think it's a problem anymore. I think with the way they uh, spray the yards and lawns and things now, there's not the problem. But when he was little. We didn't have anything done in our yard to kill critters. Yeah, yeah. Other than just mowing the lawn and, you know. So uh, he would play in the sand. Yeah. And th- that's how, you know, that would be how you got them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how I think I had a sand pile, too. Oh, just like every yeah. small oh, child. Come on. There's a reason it. we're in business together. Yeah. Towel racks and sand piles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 we should come out with a sand pile shirt. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it right says uh, Florida's <laughs> number one toy. <laughs> it's a pile of sand. Yeah. But uh, every, for my birthday, they get a dump truck of sand under the big tree. We yeah, have, I got uh, a sand oh. pile. 
And so then, you used to get gifts under the tree too in the front yard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, no, it was well, the backyard. saying oh, that backyard. you buy yeah. now is is clean. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Back then, yeah. like my dad, I think my dirt. dad would be like, well, I, "He's gonna get worms in his butthole, like uh, put yeah. a piece of tape over it." <laughs> yeah. But I think it's from getting it in your mouth, actually. Yeah, I think you eat the same. Well, Mom, yeah. I just had to call and find out the origin story of Tal Rack, but I appreciate you being so candid and honest, and I love you and miss you. I love you too. I'll see you soon. Yes, bye, Carol. ma'am. Bye, Mama. Bye, bye, honey. Love you. Oh, she says. So why, why you put her through that? Yeah. Oh, she invented it. I didn't invent it. Uh, no, 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 she invented it. You have to have her talk about. Uh, but your she loner loved it. Uh, and, uh, she loved it. And we, uh, and then I have feel talk about your song. I you don't need to tell her about your son's boners. Just <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, I like. Well, well, he was trying to help me out. Yeah. See, that's what business partners yeah. do. He, he like, wants oh. in on the boner. <laughs> Tom, yeah. Tom's like, God, he's like the reluctant soldier. He's like, God damn it! All right, and he charges in. Bone my son's boners. You know, holding guns. You know, you're like, you'll go in for me. What else we got? Anything else? I think that's about it. Yeah. The yeah. only other thing I was going to talk about, like this last week's show, when uh, they did that uh, charity golf tournament with uh, Brady and Tiger Woods and mm-hmm. Manning and uh, what's his name? Uh, the uh, golfer, uh, Phil Mickelson. Yeah. They, uh, Brady uh, bent down to pick up a ball and split his golf pants. And did his dong ever come out? No, no it was they, just his They butt. made him wear like rain suit afterwards. Yeah, he so. split his golf pants in the back. And uh, at first I oh, thought... Oh, I'm looking at it. Hold yeah, on. Yeah. At first I thought it was just like uh, they, you know, fake news. Does he like have a big ass? Uh, not really. He just no. muscle ass because, you know, from working he out and stuff. tight ass golf pants. And I don't know why, but anytime someone splits your like their pants, I find it hilarious and also embarrassing yeah. to him because he's such a high profile star and yeah. like he comes off as cool. And when you split your pants, there's no, there's no way to make that cool. It's like, ah, you split your pants. It's like what a clown would do. Yeah. And it, it, it reminds me of the time Daniel Arabian Nights. Uh, fake split his pants at Arabian Nights. And I that was what caused me to become an intern for the Monsters. I I was like, ah! Oh my god, I want to be a split pants man. <laughs> hanging it. They put me like, uh, okay, like, you know, the guy that did that is a friend of mine. He works at Universal now. He is the conductor for the yeah. um, the Harry Potter train. Yeah, yeah. So he, he gets, like, that's a really coveted, like, amazing job out mm. there. But originally, working his way up, he was the genie. At Arabian Nights. He, ah. he played like this genie that was in a lamp. Mm-hmm. So the genie was kind of like the halftime show to like the horses and the knights like fighting with their scimitars and stuff like that. So the genie and I were to put on the halftime show for, you know, all these people eating. Mm-hmm. And, a radio uh, promotion. Right? Yeah, yeah. Arabian Nights was advertising with real radio yeah. and they needed somebody to go out there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nobody else could like really do this because, and I'm not saying this to be mean, but the vast majority of the people that work at the radio station or at least were on my show were big fat slobs. <laughs> so, like, the only person that they could put in the yeah. harness to lift him up would have either been a female character who had nothing to want to do with it. You yeah, know, like, yeah. she didn't want to do anything with it, or me. So I was like, okay, well, I'll do it, because you got paid $150 an hour to do it. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. all I knew is Sweet that I was gonna, Yeah, I was going to go out to Arabian Nights and get $300 on, like, a uh, Friday night. Yeah. Not a bad gig. So they bring me to Arabian Nights, and I have to go show up there, and they're like, bring uh, two sets of pants. <laughs> uh-huh. And I'm like, yeah, two sets of pants. So they they I bring two sets of jeans. And so one set of jeans, they the seam they had a costumer, you know, like a seamstress, and she split them and then she would loosely mm-hmm. stitch them back because the way that you're in this harness and the way that it kind of comes up uh, on your genitals when you're harnessed in, mm. when they lift you, it it kind of sm- parts your cheeks. Yeah, it, parts your, it spreads your ass cheeks like I spread my wife's ass cheeks when I'm watching. Come her, on, her, anal. What, well, yeah, well, no, when I'm watching her go inside out on my cock. Come on. Um, so it. So they like, and then so I wore the one pair of pants to the show, uh-huh. and then they had the other pair of pants that had been like dummied or scored, right? Uh, in wardrobe, so they they do the thing. It's all fake, guys. They do the thing mm. where the genie's out there. He's like, "What hey, is everybody having a great time in Arabian Nights? We need a uh, we need. I need to pick an, uh, an audience participation member. Somebody for like, ah, no, no, how about this guy? Hey, hey, aren't you? Hey, everybody, it's Dan from the Monsters of the Mind. Then they bring me. You know, like nobody clapped. They, 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 <laughs> like, it's all tourists. They have no they, idea. They don't well, listen they, to real they radio. They clap, but they're not clapping because they know who I am. Monsters they're cla- of the Midway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Bears, the Chicago Bears. They're clapping because they're the there and they just got off a flight from uh, London. They're tired. They want a turkey leg and a, 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 a thing of grog. <laughs> so they they bring me out there, and then the genie. They they got me in the harness. They put the harness on me. I've got the dummy oh. pants on. <laughs> they they uh, <laughs> well, well they make it. 
they do the quick switch. They, you come out, and then they're like, we're going to send him back and get him harnessed up because we're going to put him on a horse. So then while he's describing me riding the horse, so they, I come out, I got the dummy pants on, they put me on the horse. And so the idea is for them to make me like, I'm on this like horse that's done this uh, a million times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the horse is going to like do the fancy trotting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, dude, like, you know, because you're dealing with these, like, Arabian stallions, I guess. Ah. So, I'm on oh, a wire. Do the high hoof, like, hook. Yeah, they do the <laughs> high hoof. Yeah, they do, like, <laughs> what are you doing, you <laughs> stupid <laughs> horse? Look at him walk. Funny. <laughs> he's walking. <laughs> hey, he's mittens. walking like he's walking on file. <laughs> you know, like, you're an idiot. And so, they're, I'm, the yeah. thing's doing the high hoofs. <laughs> and you're then, a thing. And then <laughs> they, no they got me wired up. So, then they, they get the horse to run through this, like, sort of an obstacle course, and I'm on it. Yeah. But the whole time, I'm holding the reins. Now, on the count of three, what they do, what, the, what they did at the end is, like, when the horse would go to jump i'm supposed to let go of the reins and then they pull the cord and then i fly up in the air yeah. which is also hyper dangerous because it's like i'm being held there by like you know some fucking garbage harness <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've yeah. had in place for like 35 years <laughs> of this hell hole <laughs> and so they go and they pull me and as they pull me it parts my cheeks and then my <laughs> my uh they made me put novelty heart yeah, yeah, boxers yeah. on. Because, That's where the punchline Because you gotta hit them like, over the yeah. hard box. You gotta hit them over the head, right, with the punchline. Right. So as oh, they hoist me up, my pants split, the hard boxers fall out. I'm flying yeah. through the air. Every dodo laughs, I'm including hu- me. Yeah, I'm humiliated. <laughs> I love it. I'm humiliated. Like it to the mm. point where then afterwards they put my put my real pants yeah. back on and like nobody even questions, like, oh, your pants look totally fine right. now. This is like O two O three. It has to be because yeah. I wa- I'm, this is the very beginning in Incarnation, I was in high school. Yeah, of the of <laughs> Rural Radio having internet because yeah. I watched this in college at the internet lab because uh, oh my god, and that's uh, embarrassing. I'm going to the uh, monsters website. I'm like, that day don't yeah. get a goddamn uh, Raymond Dice split his pants. Yeah, laughing. so I did the old split your pants. I mean, the place went crazy. I mean, it was. Do you it, ever look back at those times, Tom, and think about how dumb you were? No, no, look back. <laughs> I'm like, looking, I'm yeah. looking out. I'm looking at it in the mirror. Yeah. Every look, morning is how it starts his day. I just mean how, like, back in the day, there was look, like, what's there looking? was a little bit of a veil of the radio where people believed yeah, the bits. Yeah, 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 you yeah. know, yeah, they did. It, you know, they're, they're, you know, when I told, it, I mean, you I mean, can tell me if, still do. You can tell me if I'm pre- wrong, but when camera. I told that to you. Yeah. And we were early on in our relationship. I think you mentioned to me, oh, my wife bought the feeding square for the fish. We can feed them now. Oh, yeah, yeah. She brought over a shrimp square. So it stinks so bad. When I told you that, you were actually like kind of upset that oh, I ruined the yeah, idea yeah. of the pants splitting. Mm. Because he kind of had it believed ruins the it. the magic. Yeah. That was the beginning of when I learned, like, oh, you could fake all this shit. Like, no, who would know? Yeah. You know, like, right. It's all fake bullshit. I remember, I remember uh, Jimmy one time, where he was doing a bit where he was, he was going to go out to uh, TM Ranch, TM Ranch stay out there spend, all night yeah, yeah. spend the whole weekend or whatever the, the whole radio bullshit by the way does anybody still do that uh, the radio bits uh, like that um, not to that degree like, yeah, around not the nation a, not a, like oh yeah around either. the nation absolutely they still yeah, do yeah, the yeah, same yeah, thing yeah, yeah. but um, I uh, I remember he was going to actually stay the night in a deer stand and I was like why are you, why are you yeah. actually doing you this you should just go to the cabin go, and sleep just go, no just go home then yeah. come back the next day like yeah no one's gonna know and then he's like no he's the old school can't cheat the system yeah, he's like no gotta do it if anybody found out i'm like no <laughs> what are they gonna do yeah, if they found out yeah. concrete mike yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's too busy <laughs> doing anal <laughs> don't give a shit. Yeah, uh, you, did you hear that one uh my yeah. wife is here uh did you hear I, we uh call my mom i, almost you almost said wife. Said I know i know i always said wife i called my mom about the towel rack talking mm. about boners mm. is there anything Maisie's been saying lately other than uh I know, Dada. Mm. Giving me, uh, like, sass. straight up sass. Oh, no, she's mm. sassy. Yeah, yeah, she is sassy. Uh, I was sassy. But anyway, I think that's. A, I think we did the Lord's work today. Yep. Yeah, we're going to get out of here. Yeah, yeah. hey. Uh, we'll leave the uh, we'll, Twitch cam up and put it at a fish cam after we finish the show. And, yeah, so uh, you guys can see the the uh, piss face, the, <laughs> the yellow tang. He goes crazy yeah. for the shrimp. Yeah, we put this little... 
uh, shrimp square in there. And His teeth uh, come out. It dissolves and uh, the fish go crazy. Oh, they go nuts. So we're going to put that on now. But hey, guys, thanks so much for listening to the show. We appreciate it. TomandDan.com for all things Tom and Dan. If you're listening to this and you're like, ah, I think I would like to watch the video of what they do. Twitch.tv slash Tom and Dan Live. You can like and subscribe that. We get money from Amazon. Cost you nothing if you have Prime. And then, of course, all of the replays of what we do, it's, uh, it's on the old YouTube. Search Tom and Dan live. And if yep. you find that fight on YouTube with uh, Tom and Felicia, send it to me. Yeah, yeah, we'll put that it's up there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it I is looked there. for it. I can... No, it is up there. It, you know who, who might have really good footage of that? Because I think he was working at the time with uh, would-be Tuttle. And apparently he saved all that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. He would. Yeah. There, there, there's the YouTube video of it uh, somewhere online uh, on YouTube. If you, you, I got to the end of the results of all the Drunky the Bear videos. I think if you, you'd have to type Drunky Fights Felicia Spencer or I something. Fu- I yeah. typed that all that, yeah. Uh, all right. Halftime, who knows? Um, mm-hmm. It's not good. <laughs> it's just, just <laughs> a uh, warning. Yeah. Um, uh, semantics. What? Uh, you doing a show tonight? Uh, we're doing it tomorrow, actually, ah. with old Grifton Jesse and uh, her fiance Justin. Oh, so. hey, guess who's uh, guess who wants to have you mm. help her grift a Peloton bike? Oh, that's right. Oh, Peloton. That's a, yes. ooh, that's a big grift. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's possible though. My my oh, friend Rebecca. Broken down hot tub is not a Peloton. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. You're, at, you're gone too far, Jesse. Here, no, <laughs> so you're no, I'm going to throw it out there. Our friend Rebecca, Andrea knows exactly who I'm talking about, grifted a Peloton off of her rich friends. I hope I don't get into trouble for saying this. Yeah, but she, she lucked out, though. $150 yeah. for a fucking Peloton. Yeah, yeah. I almost shit my pants when that, I heard that's that. That's a one in a million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is a one in a million. Because uh, you're never going to find... If anybody Especially wants, now with COVID, people want to work out in their oh, homes. Oh, yeah. Those, dude, you can't even find Pelotons, workout stuff. Those Pelotons are so coveted now. Like who would have ever known? Yeah, I mean, like you can't even you can't get nothing there. It's it's yeah. good luck like finding a bicycle, let alone a Peloton. Yeah, yeah, correct. Or any workout stuff. Like yeah. all I can't find done. weights. I've been trying to get weights. I can't find fucking free weights. I just nah. want free weights. Mm-mm. Yeah, uh, you're gonna have to wait a few months. Everybody, uh, <laughs> you know, in their house, they just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna get my own <laughs> shit." Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, well, at least they're getting healthy. Um, let's see, Butler, anything to plug? Yeah, uh, well, two things, really. Uh, check out my wife's practice, uh, drocter.com, health and motion chiropractic. She just expanded, so she has a, a whole new side to her practice, so she's taking on uh, some more patients. And also, uh, double check and uh, check out our ABC uh, partner. Um, we have a great uh, hashtag ABC, TDABC going on, $25 gift cards uh, given out weekly. So, uh, yeah. And then that uh, Calalisa Creek at Sugarworks. Uh, correct. They, they've got the, the bottle, hand sanitizer, shot glass, $35.99. But pick up some of that shark bite. That's You might like yeah. that. The shark bite, it's not as sweet as the other cinnamon whiskeys. It's still sweet, but it tastes more authentically cinnamon. It's not like, it doesn't taste like, um, like they Fake put syrupy, like, yeah, yeah. Like, like cinnamon extract or some garbage in there. It tastes like really, really good. I think you'll like that. Um, what else? That's it. All right, guys. Hey, thanks so much for listening. We love you. We care about you. Stay safe out there, everybody, <laughs> as Tom would say, and we will see you Monday. Wait a minute. I, I can't publish that. It's um, mediocre. And now it's time for the Tom and Dan end of the show footnotes. Today you heard music from... No Effects. No Effects and Frank Turner did a split and covered songs by each other, and it is awesome. It'll be out later in July. You heard two of those tracks in the form of No Effects playing Thatcher Fuck the Kids and Turner covering Bob from No Effects. If you love punk and would like to hear somebody else's spin on some classics, I would definitely urge you to pick up this record. We've played Yawn Mower before, and they're back with some new unfinished songs from their Return of the Lentils EP. You heard the song Ghost Riding the Ark. I have no idea how to describe these guys other than they're really fun, and I just like how they layer. I, I love how they layer their songs. There's just so much going on. We closed out the show with new music from the legendary Bob Mould. Now, you might know him from Husker Du, Sugar. I mean, like, that's how... I knew him, like when Drew and I were working together, there wasn't a night on that show that we didn't play the band Sugar. You heard his angriest and crazy song entitled American Crisis. He's on to something. It's certainly not good, but uh, but hey man, he's singing about it. Anytime that we get good music from people that have something to say, I'm all for that. Have a great weekend, everybody, and we will talk to you on Monday. (laughs) 